Hello guys, this is the very special video to my channel since this is the 50th video and this was one of the most requested video. So, uh, so this is the part one of the video where we will be talking about general microbiome, bacteriology and the mycology. So guys, if you are new to the channel, join the telegram channel with the, uh, with the help of link given below and please subscribe to the channel so that it makes for my time and effort. Let's get started guys and let's make microbiology very easy. So, so uh, this would be like a strong cup of coffee that will blow up your mind. So let's get started. See, first of all, what happens here? Uh, so uh, you have gram positive and gram negative. The most asked thing that the most uh, important thing that we come across. So you have set, certain differences between the gram positive and the gram negative. So this gram positive we talk about. Okay. So what are the differences between this gram positive and the gram negative? Okay. So this gram positive, if you see guys, okay. So you have a peptidoglycan layer that is thick peptidoglycan layer. While if you see the gram negative, say you have very thin peptidoglycan layer. Okay. So this was important. Okay. Uh, so uh, what are the other things that you need to know? See this outer membrane in this gram negative. Okay. So you have three things. O antigen, core and the lipid. Okay. So I have given a mnemonic. So the mnemonic is long PPT. We often go get bored when our lecture get a long PPT and boring without any color. So I have tried to incorporate a lot of color for you guys so that it becomes very easy for you. So see long PPT. L means lipopolysaccharide. O means outer membrane. And NG means negative gram. Means they are gram negative. If we think about the positive. So you have two things that you need to remember. Peptidoglycan layer that is the thick one. And T that is the ticoic acid you see. This one is the ticoic acid. So these two are the most important thing that you need to know here. This ticoic acid and other thing. Okay. See now coming on to the stains in microbiology. If we talk about the stains in microbiology. Okay, so what are the important things that you need to know? The first and the most important strain is the gram stain. This you might have uh, come across whenever you visit your microbiology lab for the first time. The first experiment that you might have done is the gram positive and gram negative. So the, this gram stain, first of all, we need to remember the color. This gram positive appears purple and this gram negative appears red or pink. Okay. So see, if we see this photo, this one is the purple one means this is the positive one and this is the negative one. So we are done. So what is the sequence since this is the first stain? So what does teacher ask you? Come in and stain. Well, you are standing outside the lab and teacher asks you to come in and stain. So how will you remember the sequence? That is C for crystal violet, I for iodine, okay, A for alcohol or acetone and S for saffronine, okay. That is the counter stain. So see what happens. This crystal violet is the primary stain. All the things that have been written here, this primary stain, wala thing, modern, decolorizing, each one of the following is the potential MCQ. So please don't ignore it. Each is a potential MCQ, so please uh, go through it once, okay? So see, uh, first of all, we put the primary stain. So both of them stain by the crystal violet, both of them stain, uh, stain uh, means uh, violet color. Now see, we have put a mordant in order to fix the stain. After the mordant, we are trying to decolorize it. So this gram negative, the people who are negative, they lose their color and they take the shape, a uh, new shape, okay? So when we put a new color that is counter stain with saffron in, it takes the color that is pink to red color, okay? But this gram positive, positive people do not lose their color. They, they are good people. Hence, they remain the same in color. That is the purple color, the original violet or the purple color where they were there, okay? So this was all about the gram stain. Now moving to the other stain, that is that is the Jean Nielsen stain. Okay, so this Jean Nielsen stain. Okay, this is basically the acid fast stain. Okay, so uh, so what is the sequence here? Here the sequence is class has asked mnemonic. Okay, so see first C is carbon fusion. That is again the primary stain. Heat their iodine was the mordant. Here heat is the mordant. Then acid or alcohol again. It's the decolorizer and M that is methylene blue. Here methylene blue is the counter stain. So this is very important that you need to know. Okay. See, you have a variation. So this Jill Nielsen stain is also known as acid first stain. Okay. And you have a mnemonic. Okay. So where, where uh, is it positive? Okay. So what is the mnemonic? The mnemonic is my nose is hot and cold. Okay. So if you see this mnemonic, okay. And try to recall. So it, this becomes very easy. See, M means mycobacterium TB. Okay. And mycobacterium TB also it will come means mycobacterium lapidae. Because this is also a mycobacterium family. Nose and no, that is no cardia. Okay. 
देन नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द अदर वन ओके माई नोज इज हॉट एंड कोल्ड सो यू हैव अदर थिंग्स लाइक नो कार्डिया अगेन लीग्यूनर गो विथ इट हैंड इन हैंड ओके आई मीन्स आइसो स्पोरा सो थ्री थिंग्स गो हैंड इन हैंड दैट इज आइसो क्रिप्टो एंड साइक्लो दिस वी विल बी टॉकिंग इन आर पैरासाइटोलॉजी द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट वी नीड टू नो here in this history so here here the examiner gives you a history of hiv positive with diarrhea and you need to remember the size of it so how do you remember the size remember crypto cyclo iso okay so how do you remember it see if we have arranged it in a ascending order cr cy then i okay so this is actually 4 to 6 micron if you double it that becomes 8 to 12 micron now if you triple it that becomes 24 to 36 micron and this was a question in this was a question in this inict where they mentioned you the size and there was a history of hiv positive with diarrhea so this is a very important mcq that you need to know okay now coming on to hot hot actually means hooklets of hydrated cyst okay so this hooklets of hydrated cyst are also fv positive and cold is basically crypto and uh, cyclospora positive okay so this was about see uh, so what happens guys here you have a this this process involves the heat guys okay now what happens suppose in uh, in a new process okay what we do we remove the heat guys so if heat is not there okay then that process is known as cold jeden stain also known as kinion stain okay so this is important cold jeden or the kinion stain guys okay see then we need to know this mycobacterium tb this is 20% acid first and this mycobacterium leprae is 5% acid first okay see this 5% how will you remember this lepra if we write l e p r a it is five letter hence 5% also you might remember in lepra you have type 1 and type 2 reaction guys i think if you can recall type 1 type 2 type 1 is white type of hypersensitivity type 4 and type 2 that is type 3 means the sum counts up to 5 so remember lepra five letter sum will count up to 5 also when you use this jean nielsen with 5% h2so4 guys okay you have a special name given can you recall the name for me guys this is known as fight for echo stain and this was this year mcq for ina said so how can you remember this fight is actually 5 okay so this was your ina city question for this year you see in this one topic if you re recall guys two questions that were integrated okay so if you try to recall integration integrated way guys this makes it very easy now coming on guys to see we have we have read about a coach postulates guys that there are some rule that coach postulate so we need to know what are the things that does not follow coach postulate guys okay this is not a theory exam guys that we recall all the postulates guys okay so not that is not very important what is exception is more important in exam so remember the mnemonic lpg l means lepra mycobacterium lepra p means pallidum okay treponema pallidum that causes syphilis and n means neisseria gonorrhea okay this is important now see you have some bacteria that have unusual cell wall okay what does unusual means this urea plasma mycoplasma they contain sterol okay in cell membrane and there is no cell wall mycoplasma guys do, do you remember they are also known as pplo that is pleuronemonia like organism now coming to chlamydia okay this lacks muriamic acid but this is important this mycobacterium this contains mycolic acid which is responsible for acid fastness so this is very important if you recall the mycobacterium okay see now uh, now when we talked about the acid fast guys we need to know the color that see so what happens here the organism okay they appear red okay against a blue background okay so this is very important if i try to show you see guys okay so this is basically the organism that appears against a blue uh, background see how does it appears it appears red organism against a blue background so this is very important in mycobacteria so this experiment if you might have done in your labs you might have seen we got to perform this experiment in our lab so i have seen this um so i think you might have also done okay now the next thing that come important is basically the bacterial growth cycle okay if we see the bacterial growth curve guys okay so you have lag phase you have log phase you have stationary phase you have death phase guys okay so most of us get you easily confused uh, which will come in the order they ask you to arrange in order so how can you remember see guys lag 
लॉग स्टेशनरी ओके सो दिस इज बेसिकली इन द असेंडिंग ऑर्डर गाइज डेथ विल ऑलवेज कम एट द एंड गाइज ओके सो आई थिंक प्लीज डोंट ट्राई टू अरेंज दिस डेथ इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर बट आई थिंक इफ यू इफ यू सी अदर थिंग्स गाइज इट कम्स इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर आई थिंक दिस विल मेक यू अरेंज गाइज एंड यू वोट फॉर गेट now coming to the lag guys lag is basically something that is lagging means it's not going so fast why it's not going so fast guys cell is not growing so fast why because initially you need to have some momentum guys okay initially when you start your need pg preparation you cannot go so fast guys okay it needs time guys okay so that is it needs time to increase in size to accumulate the knowledge that is enzymes and the metabolite and at the end of the lag phase it appear, it, uh, it has a maximum size after it has acquired a certain amount of knowledge okay so it can go fast so now your cycle the grand test marks will grow exponentially guys that is log logarithmic phase guys so in this you give maximum activity when you have a knowledge maximum grand test and this you have a uniform performance all the time almost you will score more or less uniform guys now coming to the stationary phase okay after a time your gt marks stop improving guys that comes to a stationary form guys so that time you feel sometime toxic what is this guys my marks is not improving so is sporulation okay and antigen antibody formation guys okay so how we can you remember it s for sporulation t for toxin and a and a that is antigen antibody formation okay and d is basically the decline phase guys i oh, i think you can uh, this you can recall guys okay so see this was all you need to know about uh, know about the bacterial growth curve okay see we also know about this cycle g1s uh, g2m okay this is not so important guys okay now coming on to the important part that is genetics guys okay see if we talk about the genetics guys you have three things main that is transduction conjugation okay see this is the table okay transformation conjugation transduction guys okay these are the things that we need to know if we talk about uh, this genetics wala part bacterial genetics see so remember this transduction guys is basically based uh, by a phase guys okay this bacteriophage so this is important do you see guys everywhere you see a dna bacteriophage so transduction is by a phase dna guys remember this so this is very important this transduction is by a phase dna guys okay so so see you have certain things guys so we'll see guys uh, by one by one say transformation transformation means basically you acquired the free dna from the environment guys okay so see what happens in transformation guys okay uh, uh, they bind okay from the environmental like bacterial chromosome dna so this line is important okay see and uh, so basically the dna that comes it binds to it guys okay and this feature is seen in shin guys this is the mnemonic guys s is for streptococcus pneumoniae h is for h influenza and hysteria do you think guys basically this is seen by capsulated organism if you can recall guys okay so i think this helps you recall guys the organism against which we take a vaccine guys basically in splenectomy patient guys that is uh, pneumonia and h influenza and hysteria can also cause guys meningitis pneumonia so you i think you can recall it guys see this is the naked dna guys and this is the recipient cell guys and this degenerated and combined dna go inside and combine it guys okay so this donor dna will have the recipient dna integrated inside it now coming on to the next one guys okay that is conjugation okay so how does conjugation takes place guys okay see basically it is the transfer of material between two whenever you need to have a transfer guys you need to have something okay so this transfer takes place by the help of a bridge guys okay so see basically here you have f positive and f negative guys so what is f here guys f here is the fertility factor guys okay see this is the fertility factor here so what happens see this f negative plasmid guys okay contains gene required for sex pillars and conjugation guys okay so this is f negative guys okay so also what happens guys a part of the dna goes from here to the other one guys okay so this f negative which did not have they become positive see this is the f positive cell which have a which have a uh, fertility factor guys and this is the negative this is the formation of the mating breeze or the conjugating tube guys okay so this f negative will also become the positive see this dna is material transferred so both becomes f positive at the end i think if you can see guys okay 
see sex pilus on the f positive bacterium contacts the f negative bacterium positive goes towards the negative guys okay and there is transfer across the conjugating bridge or the mating bridge guys okay and the, but there is no transfer of the chromosomal dna guys okay the extra thing that is there is getting transferred but this chromosomal dna is not getting transferred i think if you can notice guys okay we have also one more thing guys okay that is h uh, so see what is the um, I means uh, at the end of it what is f positive will go with f negative to form 2f positive guys see now is the next one guys that is hfr high frequency of recombination into f negative so what does this form this form high frequency of uh, recombination f negative see guys what happened here here what happens this uh, this f positive plasmid can become incorporated into the bacterial chromosomal dna okay uh, termed as high frequency of recombination hfr okay the, when this f positive this fertility factor when this go inside okay guys so that is high frequency of recombination so this high frequency of recombination may integrate with some part of the bacterial gene recipient remains f negative guys but may have new gene okay the thing that i said guys even after recombination it remains uh, negative guys okay but it may have new gene guys okay so this was important guys now coming on to the transduction guys so what happens to the transduction guys basically it's by the bacteriophage you see this is the lytic phase this is the bacteria so this bacterial dna goes inside guys and you can see the cleavage guys and this gets incorporated guys inside okay so when this gets incorporated you have a new phase from the lice cell which goes and infect the other bacteria guys so this is about the transduction so remember this transduction is due to the fast that is the most important thing and see this is the question guys okay where do you see this specialized transduction or transduction guys so remember abcds what does abcds means a strep streptococcus toxin guys okay that is that is guys erythrogenic toxin b means botulinum okay see then c means guys cholera toxin okay d means diphtheria okay and s means zika toxin i think this question you might have uh, uh, come across many a times in your q bank gts i think how does diphtheria become it is by a specialized transduction due to fast i think this is important this i think you might have came uh, come across many a time i think when you might have solve your questions okay see now coming on to the uh, endotoxin wala part okay so if we come to the endotoxin wala part this endotoxin is a part of the gram negative ka outer membrane okay and we we have talked about the lipopolysaccharide lipid a wala thing so you have also a exotoxin thing guys okay so see uh, we have a table guys we will be seeing the difference between endotoxin exotoxin and this all the bacteria that has the exo and exotoxin okay see we'll start with it guys okay see you have some super antigen guys super antigen means guys it massively stimulates the release of cytokine so you have two things that you need to know that is staphylo and strepto wala that is gram positive kokai wale mein that is tsst what does tsst means toxic shock syndrome toxin and this induces interleukin 1 6 interferon alpha and gamma guys okay so when you have super antigen guys there is massive release of cytokine hence you will have capillary leakage shock rash and other features now coming on to the streptococcus pyogenes the one which causes pharyngitis and other thing guys so this releases exotoxin also known as erythrogenic one more point we also read guys abcds wala mnemonic that this is due to specialized transduction that is due to fast again almost the similar feature guys you can see guys because it's it's a basically a super antigen now see now coming on coming on to the major exotoxin if we talk about guys okay see uh so you have some protein synthesis inhibitor this camp induces guys you have many thing guys okay so what we need to know here guys okay see if we talk about the protein synthesis inhibitor guys you have diphtheria toxin how does diphtheria act i think everyone knows by adp ribosylation of elongation factor 2 that is ef2 it can go to the heart nerves and epithelium guys okay so this is basically the diphtheria toxin now see you have something that are camp inducer so what is the mnemonic for camp inducer that is basically cap c means basically cholera a means anthrax okay p means pertussis see we'll we'll go across uh, one one by one all of them see basically camp are camp inducers okay you can remember like this guys okay so vibrio cholerae produces a cholera toxin so this uh, cholera toxin is similar to e coli toxin guys okay so what is the feature of uh, cholera 
so cholera causes basically uh, profuse water diarrhea rice water stools you might have uh, read i think this is very important okay now see bacillus anthrax guys so anthrax you have you know there are various form of anthrax like cutaneous anthrax pulmonary anthrax so this anthrax protein is basically a triparatite protein guys okay so you have three things guys that is protective factor lethal factor edema factor guys okay so these are the three things that is important guys so basically this causes edema and kills why because protective factor lethal factor edema factor and do you do you see guys this is the media for anthrax i think if you can if you can use your common sense guys so like how the things are combined try to see guys this makes it so easy so this is basically a uh, plat media plat media means polymyxin lysozyme edta thallus acetate media that is the three part of the toxin if you can see ple protective factor lethal factor and the edema factor guys and this all increases the cam i think this makes it so easy guys i think so try to see guys okay try to make mnemonic out of the name guys that will make it very easy see now coming on to the difference between endotoxin and the exotoxin guys okay see endotoxin is mostly in the gram negative bacteria okay i said this is in both gram positive and gram negative bacteria okay this endotoxin if you talk about guys this causes fever shock hypotension guys okay this is important guys okay this endotoxin okay basically where you have sepsis shock other wala thing that is meningococci it can cause meningococcal sepsis by gram negative basically it has only gram negative guys this exotoxin anything guys that is tetanus botulism diphtheria cholera maybe anything guys okay see the important thing is there this exotoxins are destroyed this x okay x gets destroyed rapidly guys okay you you never know when your x will go away from your life guys okay so that gets destroyed rapidly when it gets destroyed rapidly it becomes your x okay so except the staphylococcal enterotoxin and e coli heat stable toxin so this may be your mcq all of the following exotoxins get destroyed except so this can come as a mcq question guys okay now see this exotoxin the thing that you see tetanus toxoid okay diphtheria toxoid can you recall guys td vaccine this is basically used as a vaccine so this is important okay but this endotoxin guys the gram negative wala thing negative people are more stable guys more toxic so they can survive more in this toxic world okay so this is important guys okay see now talking about this endotoxin if we talk about see endotoxin what happens here so endotoxin basically what happens here is the lipopolysaccharide is bound in the outer membrane of gram negative bacteria okay so see i said you have o antigen core antigen and the lipid i think if you might have seen the gram negative structure when we discussed the video guys okay so see lipid uh, so neisseria have a lipo oligosaccharide okay this is important okay if we talk about the neisseria na guys we have a mnemonic guys that is coli o is outer membrane protein l is lipopolysaccharide okay so this all things are iga protease enzyme guys okay so this all things are uh, gram negative things have okay so see basically they are released upon cell lysis or by living cells by forming blabs okay so they have three main effect what this do, do endotoxin they activate the macrophage okay see then complement activation then tissue factor activation guys see you have macrophage activation complement activation and tissue factor activation when macrophage is activated guys okay tnf alpha that will cause fever and hypotension shock wale features guys interleukin 1 for this causes pyrexia that is fever and this nitric oxide will cause hypotension guys then if we talk about the complement activation okay you have c3a c3 c5a guys that will cause histamine release hypotension and edema and that will cause neutrophil chemotaxis and tissue factor activate that will trigger the coagulation cascade and it can cause dic because shock dic other things guys so what are the endotoxin guys see the mnemonic guys this is a very good mnemonic in your first aid e edema n nitric oxide d dic if dic not treated it can go to death outer membrane protein uh, stimulates this tnf alpha which causes guys fever okay o antigen core polysaccharide and lipid a a part of the outer membrane protein they are extremely heat stable not like the endotoxin which were heat labile except uh, staphylococcal endotoxin and e coli guys interleukin 1 and 6 are produced which causes fever neutrophil chemotaxis due to c5a and shock so this was about your endotoxin now see now we have talked about the endotoxin we'll talk about the exotoxin now okay when we talk about the exotoxin guys okay 
see we need to know the mechanism of the action guys so one is the inhibiting of protein synthesis increasing fluid secretion inhibiting the phagocytic activity inhibiting the release of neurotransmitter lysing the cell membrane and super antigen guys okay see if we talk about guys this category is all already discussed guys super antigen we talked about ts61 and erythrogenic or pyrogenic wala exotoxin hai guys okay that that binds to the guys b reta, uh, b region of tcl receptor to the msc class 2 molecule guys okay this is important and this will lead to massive release of cytokine interleukin 1 2 gamma wala thing hence it can cause fever rash shock and other thing guys okay this was important guys this we have already discussed about guys okay now see inhibiting the protein synthesis guys if we take a think about the thing that inhibit the protein protein synthesis guys we have four things guys that is called diphtheria wala thing okay pseudomonas arizonosa pseudomonas shigella and enterohemorrhagic e coli ehc okay guys see corine bacterium how do we remember guys corine bacterium diphtheria inhibits elongation factor 2 c corine bacterium deep 3 cd and elongation factor ef do you see guys i think this makes it easy to remember guys so what are the classical features guys so this can cause pseudo membrane this is the most important and if it can cause uh bull, it can cause bull like lymphadenopathy these are the most and myocarditis guys in the at the end of the first week so this is important guys okay then see pseudomonas arizonosa it is one of the most common cause of your hospital acquired infection and other thing guys okay so this also this uh, this toxin is exotoxin a and also this codine bacterium and pseudomonas acts by the same mechanism guys that is cannot place act by the same mechanism so please recall it guys okay this can be asked as your mcq which toxin act in the similar mechanism as the corine bacterium diphtheria that is the pseudomonas wala toxin cannot place okay see now coming on to the shigella toxin and enterohemorrhagic e coli so basically they in inactivate the 60 s ribosome guys okay so basically when this inactivate guys okay so enterohemorrhagic so what is the important thing that we need to know this is due to a serotype known as o157 h7 known as hemolytic uremic syndrome okay so come let's reconnect it with our path knowledge so see hemolytic what are the triggers for hemolytic uremic syndrome that is thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura dic disseminated intravascular coagulation and immune thrombocytopenic purpura okay and see what are, what is what do you see on peripheral smear guys that is the presence of cystocyte so this is a very classical history in, in your long stem question so please try to catch from your history what the examiner wants to provide to you guys okay so i think this will this makes it easy guys okay now coming on to the fluid secretion kab kab badta hai, okay see you have introtoxigenic e coli guys okay see you have bacillus anthrax and you have vivrio cholerae okay so see vivrio cholerae rice water diarrhea already done guys okay i said about the thing that increases camp do you remember the mnemonic guys increase camp with cape guys okay c wala was cholera a wala anthrax p wala pertussis and e means e coli guys okay so see when we talk about the e coli guys you have two toxin guys that is the heat labile toxin and the heat stable toxin guys don't worry guys all of this will be discussed in individual bacteria also but we are trying to recall it now so that that time you can again recall what was the mechanism how that how did it go okay so see you have labile toxin and stable toxin so one increases the camp and one increases the cgmp so how will you remember guys okay remember labile like the air air is very labile fragile it can go up and stable like the ground dharti pe rehna. that is stable okay so see labile like the air that means it increases camp stable like the ground means it increases cgmp okay guys so this is important okay this will again cause e coli again cause diarrhea guys bacillus anthrax i said it again increases the camp this again increases the camp guys okay and bacillus anthrax what does it cause pulmonary anthrax ulcerous disease and other thing so the most important thing is the presence of black shard in your cutaneous anthrax this is a very important history that may be given guys now that inhibits the phagocytic activity guys okay so this bordetella pertussis guys this is also known as whooping cough for 100 days fever guys okay so this also increases the camp guys okay but 
this uh, this causes whooping cough and which is known as hundred day cough okay so this is very important guys okay so these are the classical things that may be asked in your history so when they give you a long stem please try to see what are the hints what are the uh, gram stain finding so that will help you uh, rule out at least one or two option then you can use your mind your other knowledge you can easily identify the right answer see now neurotransmitter ka inhibit you are releasing guys okay that is botulinum and clostridium tetani both the clostridium wala thing releases the so see for clostridium guys you have two toxin that is tetanospasmin and tetanolysin when we'll be talking about clostridium but we often get confused which of this release uh, inhibits the release of neurotransmitter so see this tetanolysin and spasmin what does happens in tetanus guys there is a spasm of muscle means spasmin is acting this lysin is bakwas it has no role okay so the both of them cleave the snar protease what is snar that is soluble nsf attachment guys okay so this this causes the cleavage of snar guys okay so this tetani it prevents the release of inhibitory neurotransmitter inhibitory you remember we have two thing glycine and gaba guys okay which will cause spastic paralysis and you have rises uh, what are the classical findings in your tetanus history guys that is lock jaw trismus rises sardonicus okay obvious thought obvious thought tonus pleuros thought tonus i think if you can recall guys okay see then botulinum guys okay so you know you have a infant botulism guys where you use the history of cane food see ingestion of store from the raw honey cane food guys okay then food born botulism due to ingestion of preformed toxin from cane food okay see there are many type of toxin guys which is known as the ab toxin guys means made up of two part guys b wala part enables the binding guys okay so that a wala part can go inside guys okay so this a components are usually adp ribosyl transfer in many of the toxin we will say this is a ab type of toxin means it has two part b wala binding and a wala going inside see now coming to the lysing the cell membrane guys you have a alpha toxin okay this is a very important mcq guys this phospholipid phospholipase that is the lacithinase guys it degrades the tissue and the cell membrane guys and this degradation of phospholipid causes a double zone of hemolysis and this clostridium perfringens causes the gas gangrene all of the three lines are classical mcq guys okay so this is very important now streptococcus pyogenes you have streptolysin o guys okay so this uh, lyses the rbc guys and contributes to beta hemolysis we know that for beta hemolysis streptococcus pyogenes is pro, uh, and see uh host antibodies against the aso titer aso titer i think you remember guys this is used to diagnose rheumatic fever guys so this is important guys okay now see now coming on guys to the media wala things okay see we have we have the media wala things so we have pepton water we have nutrient broth we have glucose broth and we have robertson cooked media so this robertson cooked wala first of all we'll finish this guys okay so this is basically used for anaerobic media guys so what are the examples of anaerobic wala matlab bacteria that is cannot breathe air okay means it cannot tolerate air okay that is clostridium okay then then guys you have you have guys other other organism like uh, bna which we will be al also discussing now here guys okay when we will be doing the usml integration guys okay see so uh, so now guys coming to the pepton water guys so what are the example it's like alkaline pepton water selenite f broth okay now coming on to the nutrient broth guys so you have thioglycolate broth you have tetra thionate broth guys this are the some things about the broth guys now coming on to the solid media guys okay see first of all when you add to the pepton water 1% meat extract it begins a nutrient broth guys okay then if you add agar guys that becomes agar when you add, add 5 to 10% of the sea blood guys that becomes a blood agar okay and when you heat it it becomes a chocolate agar that is required for the growth of hemophilus and other things guys okay so see you have various agar guys when we talk about the uh, mac conky agar guys okay so this mac conky agar guys okay so basically it has a composition that has a very famous mnemonic that is the plant mnemonic p for pepton okay l for lactose okay a for agar okay and and for and for neutral aid and t for sodium torochloride that is the basically the salt guys okay so this is this are some of the things guys that is very important guys and this is used to differentiate between enterobacteriaceae family okay so this is important guys so again you have some important this loffler serum slope guys this is used for diphtheria okay 
देन यू हैव टी सी बी एस दैट इज थायो सल्फेट सुक्रोज वाइल्स और दैट इज विब्रियो गाइज ओके सी वी हैव रिटर्न सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट अगार गाइज हिमोफिलस आई ऑलरेडी सेट दिस इज द चॉकलेट अगार फॉर गोनोरिया गाइज ओके वी हैव द थियर मार्टिन मीडियम गाइज दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट गाइज एंड वॉट इज द ट्रांसपोर्ट मीडियम फॉर निसीरिया दैट इज द स्टोर्ट और द एम इज मीडियम गाइज ओके सो दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट गाइज ओके नाउ सी ओके बेसिकली गोनोरिया यू कैन रिमेंबर गेट रेडी गाइज ओके दिस इज गोनोरिया ओके गेट ओके पर्ट्यूसिस दैट इज बोर्डेड पर्ट्यूसिस इज कॉज ड्यू टू बोर्डेड एला दैट इज बोर्डेड गैंग आई थिंक दिस मेक्स इट इजी पोटेशियम टेल्यूराइट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट गैस डिप्थीरिया सो यू हैव पोटेशियम टेल्यूराइट प्लेट ऑल्सो यू हैव लॉफलर सीरम स्लोप गाइज ओके दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑल्सो गाइज ओके नाउ लैक्ट्रोस फॉर्मेंटिंग इज द मैक कॉन्की का गार्ड गाइज सो इट कैन डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन लैक्टोस फॉर्मेंटर वर्सेज नॉन लैक्टोस फॉर्मेंटर डू यू रिमेंबर सी वी हैव पेप्टोन वी हैव लैक्टोज वी हैव अगार वी हैव न्यूट्रल रेड दैट इज द इंडिकेटर गाइज ओके सो दिस लैक्टोस फॉर्मेंटर आर बेसिकली पिंक एंड दिस नॉन लैक्टोस फॉर्मेंटर आर बेसिकली कलरलेस नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द लेगोनेला गाइज ओके सो वॉट इज द मीडियम नेज दैट इज नॉन एज बी सी वाई वॉट इज बी सी वाई बफर चारकोल ईस्ट अगार ओके टेल टू आर फ्रेंड बी सी एल ए That is B C A L. Okay, fungi. That is S D A. That is Sabordos dextrose. Agar guys, okay. See some of the some of the things guys that is written normally that we use guys. Okay, so this selenite F both guys will see what are important guys. Alkaline pepton water is used for guys vibrio. I think this this thing guys you will recall then only selenite F broth and tetrathionate broth guys. This is used for salmonella and shigella guys. Okay, this salmonella and shigella mostly runs hand in hand guys. Okay. so this robertson sir cooked meat broth guys that is used for anaerobic bacterial culture already discussed guys like clostridium and other anaerobes guys okay so this is important guys okay now see nutrient agar is only agar at 2% guys okay see mcconkey pepton lactose agar neutral red sodium tetrachloride do you see the plant mnemonic guys this is used for e extracia coli e coli enterobacteriaceae members guys now blood agar guys which requires slightly more than so blood agar you add 5 to 10% of sheep blood guys like streptococcus guys chocolate agar when you heat the blood agar at 50 to 100 degree so there is a release of nutrients like hemin and nad that will cause hemophilus influenza and neisseria okay see now deoxycholate agar salmonella shigella goes hand in hand that is again here then tcbs already discussed guys thiosulfate citrate bile salt that is vibrio cholera wala thing guys and here the indicator is bromothymol blue this is important mcq here the indicator is neutral red this is again a important mcq guys now see loffler serum slope already discussed guys that is due to corine bacterium diphtheria lewinstein gentian this is the most important no topic guys that My culture of Mycobacterium to uh, uh, tuberculosis. How does it appears, guys? That is rough, tough, buff, guys. Okay, this is important, guys. Okay, see, we have certain other important thing. That is the mannitol salt, guys. Guys, okay. So how I have remembered this, guys. Okay, if we talk about, guys. Okay, that is mm, see, this is due to the this is positive for Staphylococcus aureus, guys. Okay, so how I have remembered, guys. See, Staphylococcus sorry, aureus. Okay. See, ah, uh, what what I have done, guys. I have remembered the first Staphylo Cocos. I have remembered the name of one agar, guys. That is the Ludlam's agar, guys. Okay, what I do here, Ludlam's MS. Okay, at the end, guys. MS stands for Manitol Salt Agar. If we do ulta of MS, that is SM. That is Salt Milk Agar. I think this will help you remember all the uh, name. See if this works out for you. This works out for me pretty well, guys. Okay. See now then Thayer Martin Media, guys. Okay. So this is for Nisseria, both meningitis and gonorrhea, and they both are gram positive cocci, guys. If we talk about gram positive cocci, guys. Okay. So gram positive cocci, guys. What are the example of? Oh, sorry, they are. Uh, these are actually gram negative cocci, guys. They made a mistake. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So if we talk about the gram negative cocci, guys, we have only three things. Do you know negative people are venomous? I think I said again and again, guys. So, uh, what is the venom ka mnemonic? That is Valionella, okay, Neisseria, and other one Modexella. I think this makes it very important, guys. A uh, very easy and very important question. Which one of the following is a gram negative? They can easily ask you because only three organisms are there. Now coming on to the Macconky wala thing, guys. Okay. Lactose fermenter. So what are the lactose fermenter, guys? That is E. coli and Klebsiella. These are the lactose fermenter, guys. And if we talk about the non-lactose fermenter, guys, that is Salmonella. 
and you have the sheet gala okay guys see now coming on to the tcbs wala this is again for vivrio guys okay and this tcbs that is sucrose so this basically test on the presence of sucrose and what was the indicator guys that was bromothymol blue so sucrose non fermenters guys okay so this will change the color guys okay normally it occurs yellow yellow guys charcoal yeast agar that is legionella guys okay this is very easy lowenstein jensen that is rough tough and buff colonies guys you can see then sda is for most uh, fungi guys okay and back to okay this inhibits okay this inhibits the gram positive guys okay this is fine then it this is inhibiting the gram positive it's fine guys na it's promoting the gram negative only guys inhibiting the gram positive this is fine then guys okay this is this was for gram negative of organism guys okay see uh so this is basically the summary table which is taken guys from from a usmle first aid book guys okay so whatever we have read guys let's try to revise let's try to add on something guys okay that will make it easy guys okay so this are the some this are two pages guys that we need to revise from our usmle wala notes guys anaerobes means which do not need air what was the mnemonic guys cannot breathe air guys okay so can't breathe air c for clostridium okay b for bacteroides a for actinomyces guys just remember this guys okay i think this is this is very very easy guys we have already talked about i think c we already talked about here guys okay so we already talked clostridium bacteroides okay and actinomyces guys okay so this was about your anaerobes guys okay see ah uh, so oh, what happens guys here okay so why does they do not breathe here guys because they lack an enzyme that is catalase or the superoxide which we talked about like uh, they are antioxidant guys okay hence they will they they are susceptible to oxi oxidant damage guys okay so see guys okay this very important see amino glycosides required oxygen for uh, to enter inside guys hence amino glycosides please never uh, give as the treatment of choice for this organism clostridium clostridium bacteroides and actinomyces this will be a very big blunder guys now coming on to the faculty facultative anaerobes guys means they may they are means they are normally anaerobes but may use oxygen guys okay that is important like staphylococci streptococci and enteric gram negative not very important to remember just know the definition obligate intracellular means they inside uh, they rely inside the cell okay and that intracellular okay means they rely on host atp means they you have three things guys okay that is uh, rickettsia chlamydia and coxella okay mm, this three things are obligate intracellular i think mnemonic is not needed i think you can re remember without the mnemonic only these things go hand in hand guys okay now facultative intracellular not very important guys we want to learn so much big mnemonic guys okay now see encapsulated bacteria this is very important so try to recall guys how will you remember hi i remember the, the things that causes pneumonia they go deep inside hence they are encapsulated guys see that is hemophilus influenza does it cause pneumonia guys pseudomonas does it cause pneumonia guys s s pneumonia does it cause guys then isaria meningitis meningitis it cause e coli can also cause pneumonia guys e coli can cause meningitis so all the things that goes deep inside guys that is salmonella klebsiella pneumonia and group b streptococcus that causes meningitis guys do you see guys so basically Now uh, this encapsulated this capsule serves as anti phagocyte why they are not killed because they are protected by a capsule hence they can cause meningitis and pneumonia wale thing guys okay so this is important and they serve as an antigen in vaccines guys okay like hemophilus influenza type b is used for vaccine if you remember your nisseria guys we have like a a c y strain guys a c y and w 135 is used for vaccine type b is not used why because it is encephalitogenic guys okay so see basically what happens guys this were in encapsulated so when you have removed your spleen guys after splenectomy you need to protect against three thing guys okay that is nisseria meningitis s pneumonia and h flu influenza guys this we have already discussed previously guys see so you have vaccine guys okay so see what is vaccination guys pneumonia you have two vaccine guys that is pcv 13 and ppsv 23 guys hemophilus influenza type b is a conjugate vaccine and meningococcal vaccine is again a conjugate vaccine because acyw145 so many strains are now guys coming on to the urea positive organism that that produces urea so the mnemonic is basically the punch kiss okay see p for proteus u for urea plasma n for guys no cardia c is for cryptococcus h is for h pylori okay so other things like staphylococcus staphylococcus epidermidis saprophyticus okay klebsiella okay guys so this was all about so what happens guys urea producing means enzyme urease 
will hydrolyze urea to produce ammonia and CO2 guys okay when this happens guys okay pH increases and this urea is producing organism this causes a typical stone known as the triple phosphate stone or your true white stone that is known as triple phosphate magnesium ammonium phosphate guys this triple stone that has a stag on a color wala appearance guys okay now coming on to the guys catalyst positive organism guys so catalyst positive organism guys okay so see what is important in catalyst positive so catalyst degrades the hydrogen peroxide guys leading to the bubbling guys so you know that catalyst positive is a very important test to differentiate between staphylococcus and streptococcus staphylococcus are catalyst positive while streptococcus are catalyst negative guys okay so what is the mnemonic guys that is no space guys okay no means no cardia S means Staphylococcus guys, Cerasia, P means Pseudomonas guys, A means Aspergillus, C means Candida guys, okay, E means E. coli guys, okay, you have some other thing, Bordetella, Helicobacter, not very so important guys, okay, so what is the important, what is this clinical Im implication guys, okay, people with G uh, granulomat uh, chronic granulomatous disease, that is NAP NAPDH oxidase deficiency, have recurrent infection due to catalyst positive. So this is basically your path integration. This is where you need to integrate your first aid guys, okay. So this is what first aid helps you, okay. Now pigment producing bacteria. The important thing guys that you need to know. This is Staphylococcus aureus, AU. AU if you know your uh, periodic table guys, EU stands for gold, I think, if you know your periodic table. That is golden yellow pigment, guys, okay. Now, see, Pseudomonas aeruginosa. So, this is basically blue-green pigment. This is very important. Whenever you see blue-green pigmentation in any of the question, directly divert your mind towards the Pseudomonas. It may be either due to pyocyanin or maybe due to pyoverdin, guys. Cerasia, RR, many are. That is, it produces a red pigment. Hence, as a result, guys, this looks like pseudohemoptysis, guys. And this Cerasia guys, okay, this is basically due to a pigment guys. What is the name of this pigment guys? That is Prodigiosin. Like here, here you have guys, uh, Pyocyanin and Pyoverdin guys. Now, act Actinomyces Israeli guys, okay. So basically this causes this mycetoma foot wala thing guys, okay. You have yellow sulfur granules guys, okay. And Israel has yellow sand, okay, you can remember like this, okay. See, now coming on guys to this uh, Staphylococcus epidermidis guys, okay. So this causes prostatic valve infection guys. This causes dental plaque infection that is very dense streptococci guys, okay. So this causes ventilator started in uh, hospital acquired infection guys, okay. And H influenza causes otitis media guys, okay. See, okay. So this very important guys. If we talk about the spore forming guys, remember the two group guys, okay. That is bacillus guys and you have clostridium, okay. So this is very important guys that you need to remember guys. Okay. So see if we talk about the spores guys. Okay. So this spore guys. Okay. This contains an acid known as, known as guys DP cholinic acid guys. That makes it responsible for heat resistance guys. Okay. So most autoclave guys uh, to kill the spore guys. Normally what do we do in autoclave guys. 121 degree for 15 minutes for 15 pound square inch guys. Okay. So see, bacillus may you have anthrax and serious guys, okay, anthracis will cause anthrax, clostridium botulism, so you have infant botulism and adult botulism, right? clostridium difficile cause, this causes pseudomembrane colitis, this is very important, and perfringes gas gangrene and tetanine guys, okay, see, now talking about the virulence factor, well, I think, IgA protease, all the things where it needs to go inside and colonize, like see guys, again the same thing that capsulated while well, I think only came, pneumonia, hemophilia, influenza and hysteria, because it needs to go inside, okay, now M protein guys, okay, so this is produced in group A streptococci, hence molecular mimicry guys, in acute rheumatic fever, this protein A guys, this is found in S, S aureus guys, okay, and this binds to FC region guys, okay, and this is expressed by a sodius, I think you can see guys. Capsular polysaccharide, anything that has a capsule wala thing guys, okay. See, now coming on to this guys, okay. So this is basically a source of some history has been given. What are the possible things that you may uh, think. Then we'll after this uh, guys, we'll see guys how to approach gram positive and gram negative. We'll be approaching both of them guys, okay. So coming on to the systemic infectious disease guys, okay. So see. Typical pneumonia guys, what may be cause? Uh, the uh, hemophilus, influenza, streptococcus, atypical pneumonia guys, that is mycoplasma, chlamydia and ligolenda guys, okay, just to give an idea guys, okay. 
now if if a history of pharyngitis is given so basically this is how to approach your question guys okay so what is the diagnosis given guys and what are the things that you need to think guys okay so see pharyngitis most likely due to streptococcus pyogenes guys okay there may be history of fever and other thing guys you may also have a pseudo membranous pharyngitis pseudo membrane is due to corine bacterium diphtheria guys you may have a history of bull neck guys treatment is penicillin and antitoxin guys okay diphtheria toxin is there na guys diphtheria toxide guys now see epiglottitis means inflammation of the epiglottis guys so that is due to hemophilus influenzae come guys let's get a mnemonic for hemophilus influenzae let's see guys okay how how i remember hemophilus h a e m o b spelling we are writing e for epiglottitis m for meningitis o for otitis media okay p for pneumonia i think this makes it easy guys i think i i remember like this guys so try to make a mnemonic from your name guys so that you remember for long time guys okay hemophilus s means it can cause sinusitis again guys okay so streptococcus pneumonia hemophilus influenza wala thing guys okay now otitis externa guys it is due to pseudomonas s aureus and pseudomonas aeruginosa now coming on to the otitis media guys again this all things guys pneumonia influenza and modexella catarrhalis campylobacterium jejuni guys okay so uh, what is the important this is the important cause of gbs guillain barre syndrome salmonella chicken and egg product history may be there shigella causes bloody diarrhea bacillus cereus you have basically this chinese rice chinese cooked food guys okay so this are the basic history guys that you may see in your history guys okay so try to see the history well now coming on to the clostridium botulinum guys okay so this botulinum in it was a neurotransmitter wala thing guys so you have honey in babies or canned food do you see your classical history per fringes that causes gas gangrene that is reheated meat this is a very classical history of vibrio cholera seafood entero hemorrhagic see we have already read guys this is like a siga like toxin what is the uh, uh, men's factor that is triggering hus hemolytic uremic syndrome ttp dic itp do you see guys and O one fifty seven S seven guys. This is Cerasia marcins guys. And what was the pigment? I think if you can recall guys, that is Prodi geosin, and this causes pseudo hemoptysis. Okay. Ah, uh, and this is basically the strobite wall stone guys that they have shown in urease positive organism guys. Okay. Now see osteomyelitis guys. Okay. So this is very important MCQ. This comes in your means they can ask either here or this comes in ortho. That salmonella is the most common cause of osteomyelitis in patient with sickle cell anemia. Normally it's as serious. Septic arthritis guys. It's due to Neisseria gonorrhea. Pots disease. Everyone knows guys. This is the TB. TB spine is known as the pots disease guys. Okay. See. So basically guys, this was all about guys. Okay. See here we have here they have showed you a case of guys meningitis. So if we see the meningitis, guys, how will you remember the causes of meningitis in a baby, guys? Okay, see, remember a baby has applied a gel or mother has applied gel. G means group B streptococcus, E means E. coli, and L means Listeria monocytogenes, guys. Okay, and other bacteria like streptococcus pneumonia and Listeria meningitis is another things can also cause, guys. Okay, see. Now coming on to the history and sexually transmitted diseases, what they may give you guys, okay? See, you have gonorrhea, guys. Urethritis, uh, these all things are with there. See, then you have syphilis, guys. How will you remember syphilis, guys? Syphilis, it is a painless uh, ulcer with a painless lymphadenopathy, guys. Okay. See, bacterial pathogenesis. You know the uh, clue cells positive, positive weave cells, and Amsel's criteria would be given, guys. Trichomonas vaginitis, guys. That causes strawberry cervix, and they are extremely itchy, guys. Okay. PID, pelvic inflammatory disease, guys. Okay. That is due to gonorrhea and chlamydia, and this is important, guys. This Chandelier sign. That is the cervical motion tenderness, guys. Okay. See. Now we are approaching the gram positive wala bacteria, guys. Okay. So see, we have gram positive cocci, and we have gram negative cocci, guys. Okay. So the we have gram in cocci we have again positive and negative in gram uh, okay guys cocci we have again positive and negative bacilli again we have positive and negative guys so let's uh, revise the mnemonic for gram positive bacilli guys okay you feel very positive guys when you go to your mcdonald and eat your burger so that is positive burger guys i think you can remember guys like this okay mcd is famous for its burger guys i think okay so see mcdonald m means mycobacterium a means anthrax c means clostridium D D means diphtheria. O N. Ulta. If you do no cardia. Okay. A means actinomyces. 
एल मीन्स लिस्टेर या डी मीन्स डिप्थेरोड ओके यू आर लविंग इट आई एम लविंग इट गाइज ओके चल लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट गाइज ओके सी वी हैव ग्राम पॉजिटिव वाला थिंग ओके सो हाउ डज ग्राम पॉजिटिव अकर्स गाइज दैट इज पर्पल यू नो नाउ सी ग्राम पॉजिटिव में भी क्लासीफाई आदर इन बैसेलाई आदर इन कोकाई ओके गाइज सी बैसेलाई वी हैव अगेन गाइज वी कैन हैव बैसेलाई एंड कोकाई फर्स्ट विल गो विद बैसेलाई कोकाई वाला गाइज ओके सी वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द ग्राम पॉजिटिव कोकाई गाइज ओके सी वी वी हैव टू मेन थिंग स्टाफाइलो कोकस एंड स्टेप्टो कोकस हाउ डू यू डिफ्रेंशिएट इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ कैटलेस वाला थिंग इफ इट्स कैटलेस पॉजिटिव गाइज इट्स स्टेफाइलो कोकस सी इफ इट्स नेगेटिव गाइज इट्स स्टेप्टो कोकस सो हाउ डज स्टेप्टो कोकस अपियर गाइज इट अपियर इन चेन एंड इट अपियर्स लाइक स्टेफाइलो कोकस इफ वी सी द लिटरल मीनिंग इट मीन्स अ बंच ऑफ ग्रेप्स गाइज डू यू सी दिस लुक्स लाइक अ बंच ऑफ ग्रेप्स गाइज ओके सी now after they are positive how do we differentiate we have two criteria guys we have uh, see this is known as cogles positive or cogles negative staphylococci guys okay if it is positive it's as aureus if it's negative it may be either of two that is epidermidis or saprophyticus so how do you differentiate guys okay this is tested by the help of nobo biosin guys so how do you re remember which is okay so i remember a mnemonic that is esr that is guys epidermidis is sensitive and the saprophyticus is resistant i think this makes it so easy guys see epidermidis sensitive saprophyticus resistant okay see now coming on to the catalase wall organism so you have catalase negative guys that is streptococcus so streptococcus now basically we'll see the hemolysis guys okay so we have three types of hemolysis alpha beta and gamma so first of all we need to remember the color guys okay see alpha you can see this looks like a g okay that is partial hemolysis green in color beta guys if you see guys beta that is uh, complete hemolysis that is yellow in color gamma means no hemolysis guys okay see so if we talk about the alpha hemolysis guys there are two things that are alpha hemolysis uh, means uh, positive okay that is viridens streptococci and streptococcus pneumonia we know pneumonia is capsulated guys okay so viridens streptococci you have two things guys mutants and uh, mutants and mites guys okay see so how do you differentiate between two like we have read about nobo biosin used to differentiate between guys epidermidis and saprophyticus guys okay that is you can remember novel esr as your mnemonic guys okay see now here when we talk about the pneumonia and this guys so you have you have differentiate on the basis of optocin and bile guys okay so how i remember guys okay very dense vir that is uh, bile insoluble guys okay and optocin resistant guys means this will be positive for both of them guys now coming on to the beta wala thing guys okay so alpha you have very dense and pneumonia wala thing okay see uh so uh so now coming on to the so how you can remember guys alpha what all comes here guys so that is pneumonia and viridens now are uh, coming to the beta that is yellow so we do on the basis of bacitracin and pyr guys okay so if it is positive guys that is pyogenes is positive guys okay pyr pyogenes okay and negative guys it's step group b agalactase that used to cause meningitis in the baby guys okay so see this was important so this is a table that summarize novo biosin differentiate between epidermidis and saprophyticus optocin between guys which two that is viridens and guys pneumonia okay so this differentiate between uh, this now bacitracin guys okay so this bacitracin guys okay this differentiate between guys group a group a strepto group a and group b guys group a is pyogenes and group b is agalactase okay see now coming on to the approach to the gram gram positive wala thing okay i think see we we completed this table guys we uh, we did not do the bacilli wala table this also will do here guys so you have anaerobic and anaerobic guys and uh, if we talk about the anaerobic guys that was clostridium guys okay and uh, uh, this was anaerobic anaerobic was bacillus bacillus and corini bacterium okay so anaerobic is clostridium bacterium formally known as propionyl bacterium not very important okay see this we have already done this table guys if we talk about the things that are catalase positive guys okay mm -hmm. means the so so basically guys you have some of the organism which is coagulase positive some of the things are not coagulase positive guys okay so if we talk about the coagulase positive three things are actually coagulase positive but only one thing is tested so we just remember the aureus wala thing see we have two types of coagulase guys if we talk about we have the tube coagulase and we have the bound coagulase i think we have the image somewhere i think i have done okay we'll be doing that guys okay so just remember tube coagulase guys tube means free four letter slide means five letter guys that is bound coagulase guys 
ओके सॉरी सॉरी गाइस ओके सो सी गाइस इफ वी सी ट्यूब कॉग्रेस फ्रीज स्किल फ्री नाइम ओनली फ्री इज कमिंग गाइज बाउंड ओ एन डी दैट इज डी यू एन डू सी डी यू एन उल्टा इफ यू सी गाइज दैट इज लुक डोन दैट इज द बाउंड वाला थिंग गाइज सी दिस इज द ग्राम पॉजिटिव बैस लाइव यू ऑलरेडी रिमेंबर द निमोनिक गाइज द निमोनिक वॉज मैक डोनल्ड आई थिंक यू कैन सी इट ओके ऑलरेडी डन गाइज ओके सी सो सो दिस दिस इज अबाउट द इंटायर ग्राम 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 कोकाई का डेफरेंशिएशन गाइज ओके सो सी कोकाई इट कैन बी आइदर पॉजिटिव कैन बी आइदर नेगेटिव गाइज ओके सी वेट लेट लेट मी यूज अ कलर रेड एंड ग्रीन गाइज सो दैट इट मेक्स इट इजी सो पॉजिटिव यू कैन आइदर स्टेप एंड स्टेप हाउ डू यू डिफरेंशिएट गाइज दैट इज कैटलेस इफ इट इज कैटलेस पॉजिटिव गाइज ओके सो वॉट इज देर इन पॉजिटिव गाइज पॉजिटिव इज स्टेफाइलो कोकस इफ इट्स नेगेटिव गाइज इट्स स्टेप्टो कोकस अगेन हाउ डू यू डिफ्रेंशिएट गाइज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कॉगलेस वाला थिंग गाइज ओके सो वेन यू डिफ्रेंशिएट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कॉगलेस वाला थिंग इट कैन अगेन कम पॉजिटिव अगेन कम नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव वॉज एक्चुअली थ्री थिंग बट ऑडियस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट नेगेटिव दैट इज कॉगलेस नेगेटिव स्टेफाइलो कोका यू हैव थ्री थिंग्स यू हैव टू थिंग्स गाइज दैट इज हैप्पी डर्मिडिस एंड सेप्रोफाइटिकस हाउ डू यू डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस टू गाइज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ गाइज नोवो वायरसिन and what was the mnemonic guys novel esr okay see this is done now coming on to the streptococcus ka differentiation guys you have on the basis of hemolysis alpha beta gamma alpha means guys partial hemolysis and alpha is guys uh, green in color beta means complete beta okay that is clear hemolysis guys okay see gamma guys gamma basically group d guys usually no hemolysis guys so how do you differentiate between alpha you have two things guys what is in alpha viridens and pneumonia guys so how you can remember alpha people they are the vip people that is viridens and pneumonia okay guys now coming on to the beta guys okay so beta is bacitrus and i think this is so easy i think you won't confuse guys okay so alpha people are op people guys okay and they are vip Wow, this makes a good name, Monica. I think this I just made while teaching. I think this is good. I think this will help you a lot, guys. Okay, this will help you recall it, guys. Okay, alpha people are OP people and they are VIP. Beta people are bacitracin wale people. So positive guys is the group A wale thing and negative is the group B wale thing. A people are positive, B is negative. Gamma means if it grows, guys, that is Enterococcus faecalis. If it does not grow, guys, that is Bovis. Okay, guys. Now see, coming on to the image, guys. If you can see, they are see. First of all, see the color, guys. They are positive. Why? Because they are purple in color. And how does it appear, guys? In a bunch of grape appearance. Hence, this is the S aureus, guys. See, this appears in a straight chain, guys. That is Streptococcus, guys. Okay. See, this this table has been already done, guys. Catalyst positive pneumonic has already done and is important in the chronic granulomatous disease and a PDH oxidase deficiency because they causes recurrent infection. Okay, now see protein A of S aureus has already been dealt, guys. Okay, binds to FC portion. See, S aureus if we talk about, guys. Okay, so what are the things this S aureus causes, guys? That we need to know. Okay, so if we talk about the things that this S aureus causes, guys. Okay. so as aureus we will have a mnemonic guys okay so see as aureus we have already done aureus that is protein a this causes a super antigen wala thing that is toxic shock syndrome already discussed guys this as aureus causes a food poisoning whose uh, duration is 1 to 6 hour and here you have a dd guys what is the dd guys that is the bacillus cereus okay when you see about the bacillus cereus what does you remember guys the chinese food or fried rice wala history here also it's 1 to 6 hour guys okay so this is important guys here okay See then what does this cause? Osteomyelitis already discussed, guys. This can cause endocarditis. So in one of the slide, guys, I have recalled all the causes of endocarditis: early cause, late cause, and this can cause MRSA, guys. What is MRSA? Initially, the treatment of choice was methicillin, but when it become resistance, it's known as MRSA, guys. So if it's resistant, guys, the drug of choice is vancomycin, guys. Okay, if vancomycin has resistance, this is known as VRSA. If this vancomycin has further become resistance, guys, the drug of choice is basically, guys, Lena Jolly or Daptomycin, guys. Okay, so this is also important, guys. Okay, see, ah, uh, do you see, guys? It's basically, basically in clusters, guys. I think you can note it down, guys. Okay, see, 
वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट अ कोगलेस टेस्ट दिस स्लाइड इज द बाउंड वाला दिस इज द फ्री वाला गाइज ओके सो दिस इज बेसिकली द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द कोगलेस टेस्ट गाइज ओके सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीड गाइड यू कैन रीड इट गाइज जस्ट आई से यू सी दिस बाउंड कोगलेस डो नॉट रिक्वायर द कोगलेस रिएक्टिंग फैक्टर गाइज ओके बिकॉज इट डायरेक्टली रिएक्ट गाइज बट दिस फ्री कॉगलेस रिक्वायर द सी आर पी कॉगलेस रिएक्टिव फैक्टर गाइज ओके टू फॉर्म दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स गाइज ओके सो दिस वॉज ऑनली इंपॉर्टेंट सी यू कैन सी दिस इज पॉजिटिव बिकॉज द क्लॉट इज फॉर्म सी गाइज दिस ट्यूब कॉगलेस का पॉजिटिव बिकॉज द क्लॉट इज फॉर्म डू यू सी गाइज यर सी सो दिस वॉज अबाउट सी सो द थिंग दैट कैन द थिंग्स दैट आई मस्ट नो फॉर हियर गाइज दैट दिस इज कैटलिस टेस्ट पॉजिटिव कॉगलेस टेस्ट पॉजिटिव दे आर टू टाइप ऑफ कॉगलेस स्लाइड कॉगलेस ट्यूब कॉगलेस डू रिकॉल गाइज सी वॉट आर द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स ऑफ सॉरीज फॉर दिस वी हैव अ निमोनिक नोन एज द सॉफ्ट पेन्स गाइज ओके वॉट इज सॉफ्ट पेन गाइज एस फॉर सॉफ्ट टिश्यू इन्फेक्शन ओ फॉर ऑस्टियोमलाइटिस एफ फॉर फूड पॉइजनिंग गाइज T for toxic shock syndrome toxin guys super antigen wala and toxic epidermal necrolysis P for guys pneumonia already we discussed pneumonia wala thing guys it's one of the cause and that is no one is pneumatocil so this is it is the most common cause of pneumatocil this may be asked as your mcq guys okay now see P already done A is acute endocarditis already see already done guys okay so this s aureus guys okay this is one of the most common cause of endocarditis guys i means infective arthritis guys okay thik and uh, so this infective arthritis ka also this is again the most common cause guys okay so this may be again tested guys okay n means guys necrotizing fasciitis okay and s means sepsis guys okay so this was important guys about the uh, about your s aureus that we need to know guys okay and here the super antigen that we are talking again and again guys okay so this super antigen guys that causes your uh, means basically toxic shock syndrome this is also known as enterotoxin f guys okay so this was important guys okay and see further if we talk about the toxins guys okay so what happens in toxin guys okay we have talked about the protein a in s or s guys this protein a guys this is anti phagocytic guys okay uh, anti complementary and coagglutination positive here you have a pentan valentine toxin guys okay this is important for your mcq so basically what does this contain this contain pentan valentine and your gamma wala thing guys okay because it has hemolysin also guys what are the hemolysin guys this is not so important guys alpha beta gamma delta hemolysin not very important guys okay see moving further guys okay see if we move further guys this is basically what we read in uh, staphylococcus aureus see this was catle uh, coagulase positive guys okay and this two guys this two are guys coagulase negative staphylococcus okay so this is what we are reading from our uh, first aid wala integration wala thing see uh, we'll see if something new is given or everything we have covered guys see they are actually guys gram positive already done guys gram positive cocci catalase positive coagulase positive the protein is the virulence factor that binds to fcc portion of icc already done guys okay see this can cause various diseases like pneumonia okay infective endocarditis septic arthritis osteomyelitis already covered in our mnemonic of soft pain guys okay so try to recall guys okay already most of the thing toxic shock syndrome toxin okay uh, tsst1 guys uh, that is enterotoxin f wala thing mrsa guys already done guys okay so this was methicillin resistant as uh, mrsa guys okay so resistance is due to the altered penicillin binding protein due to macagen guys this is important guys okay this is important this can be asked you the mcq guys see this is already done how does this act guys and this is staphylococcal uh, wala thing that is already done guys okay staphylococcal toxic shock syndrome this causes a uh, basically food poisoning 1 to 6r or 2 to 6r wala food poisoning guys okay and this enterotoxin already discussed guys this is heat stable normally the enterotoxin are not heat stable but it as or is an equalized heat stable guys okay this already done now coming to the epidermidis guys okay see What is the difference here? Again, gram positive, catalase positive, same. But these are <coughs> coagulase negative guys, and this is urease positive guys because this comes in our mnemonic guys, punch kiss. Okay, that epidermidis C, both are urease positive guys. Okay, novo biosin was used to differentiate between them guys. What was the mnemonic guys? That is novel ESR guys. Okay, see, and this does not ferment mannitol guys. Okay. 
see this is the normal uh, microbiota of the skin but this causes this infect the prosthetic valve guys this is important from your mcq aspect guys okay now see now coming on guys uh, to this guys so this is the most common cause of uti guys okay in basically the sexually active women I mean one of the cause of uti guys this is the second most common cause of complicated uti in young female most common cause is e coli guys okay do you guys feel like you always get confused guys which one in prosthetic valve guys like it's so difficult to remember guys okay so see uh, let's make it very easy with the help of the mnemonic guys okay see if we talk about our prosthetic valve endocarditis guys that is less than 12 month guys of implantation of your valve that is subse early okay that is staphylococcus epidermidis i think you will recall it now guys okay if you talk about late guys that is more than 12 month ek saal ke baad okay that is very delayed guys okay that is very dense guys okay now see guys what are the common organism that causes infective endocarditis guys no underlying heart disease that is normal stuff that is staphylococcus aureus this group d enterococci when does it cause when you enter the bowel or bladder for surgery remember the mnemonic guys pseudomonas after parenteral iv drug abuse means iv drug abuser very dense name only comes dental procedure guys okay so this is very important this coagulase negative wala staphylococci guys okay in the presence of central catheter guys central venous catheter this fungal organism after your heart surgery guys see this is already discussed alpha hemolytic guys what were the things what was the mnemonic for alpha hemolytic remember guys alpha differentiate alpha people are op and they are vip op means optocin guys okay guys and vip means very dense and pneumonia guys beta hemolytic if we talk about guys okay so we have group a and group b group a is known as pyogenes guys and group b is known as agalactase guys okay so this was important guys okay alpha do you see the color guys this is green in color and this is yellow in color this is partial wala hemolysis guys and this is complete okay i think uh, this helps you revise guys okay see this table has already been done guys okay now coming on to the streptococcus pneumonia the important thing that we need to know okay see before this guys i I'll, i would like to uh, recall some of the diagnosis point of your sorries guys okay see diagnosis how does it appear guys grape like cluster gram positive okay so what uh, so guys this is mannitol fermentation positive guys okay and see if we talk about this guys this produces a narrow zone of hemolysis guys recall it guys narrow zone uh, and on nutrient agar what did i say guys this aureus au means gold color that is it produces a golden pigment guys okay this golden pigment the name is staphylococcus hence the name is staphylozanthin yellow color guys okay so this so this is important guys this is staphylozanthin guys okay also we have talked about guys here about the media wala things that what was the mnemonic how i remembered ludlams ms manitol salt and salt milk agar guys okay so and macke gene resistance is important guys since this can be tested in your exam guys okay coagulase negative has already been discussed guys okay so we'll move to the streptococcus wala thing guys okay so on the basis of hemolysis we already did this all thing guys okay so basically this alpha beta and gamma thing that we are doing guys okay that is on the basis of lansfield classification okay so this is on basis of lansfield classification guys okay on the basis of lansfield classification this is done guys so here you have group a which is pyogenes guys and group b guys that is agalactase okay now see we are uh, we are talking about the streptococcus wala pneumonia wala thing guys okay when we talk about guys streptococcus pneumonia wala thing guys okay so what are the thing that cause of pneumonia guys meningitis okay pneumonia meningitis everything is in the name guys remember our pneumonia what was the other thing that goes hand in hand that was very dense guys okay so op that is optocin optocin was optocin and bile guys okay so optocin was resistant and bile was insoluble so this will be optocin sensitive and bile soluble and this quelling test for capsular polysaccharide is positive guys this is important guys okay so see when you try to differentiate between viridens and this this has already been done see how does it appear guys this shape is known as the lanceolate shape guys okay and say this viridens guys okay very dense okay that is in chains guys okay rhyming okay see uh, this uh, this is already dense no, this is already dense see so the capsular polysaccharide will swell that is known as uh, quelling reaction so basically this is guys actually swelling on addition of anti capsular serum guys okay 
सो दिस इज दिस इज अबाउट यर स्टेप्टोकोकस निमोनिया वाला थिंग गाइज ओके सो सी वॉट आर द थिंग्स अदर थिंग्स दैट यू मे नीड टू नो गाइज ओके दैट मे बी आस्क इन योर एग्जाम हियर बाइल सॉल्यूबिलिटी वॉज पॉजिटिव ऑलरेडी डन गाइज हियर यू फाइंड द टिपिकल टू थिंग गाइज दैट इज नोन एज ड्रॉट्स मैन कॉलनी ऑल्सो नोन एज द कैरम कॉइन कॉलनी गाइज ओके दिस मे बी आस्क गाइज इन योर एग्जाम ओके सो दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट गाइज ओके सो दैट वॉज अबाउट दैट वॉज अबाउट द थिंग दैट यू नीड टू नो फॉर योर स्टेप्टो कोकस वाला थिंग नाउ गाइज कमिंग ऑन टू द वेरीडेंस वाला थिंग गाइज ओके वेन वी टॉक अबाउट गाइज दिस ये वेरीडेंस वाला थिंग गाइज सी ऑलरेडी डन बाइल इन बाइल वाला थिंग इनसॉल्यूबल ऑप्टोसिन रेसिस्टेंस कैप्सूल नहीं है एंड दिस म्यूटेंस ओके दिस म्यूटेंस कॉजेस वाला डेंटल वेरीडेंस मीन्स डेंस दैट इज डेंटल कैरिस गाइज ओके सी दिस टेबल हैज ऑलरेडी बिन डिस्कस गाइज ओके सो सी uh this is basically a uh, thing summarizing all the feature that you need to know guys see try to see i, I have tried to zoom in guys okay for you so try to see what happens guys streptococcus pneumonia so this is lanceolate shape okay wait let me the capsule is present quelling test is positive this this again causes meningitis and other things so iga protease will be present guys okay this was bile soluble wala thing if you can recall guys okay so This is number one cause for pneumonia, meningitis, otitis media. Drug of choice, guys. Basically, third generation वाला thing, ceftriaxone, amoxicillin. You can go, guys. Vaccine, guys. You have two thing, PPSV twenty three and PCV वाला thing, guys. Okay, that is PCV seven, guys. Okay, you see all the things about pneumonia summarized. Now coming on to the very dense, guys. That is dental वाला thing, guys. Sanguinis and meat metals. That is due to dental extraction, dental caries, guys. Okay, and this will cause, guys, very dense. Okay, very dense was very late, wala thing. That causes subacute endocarditis, guys. Okay. Now coming on, guys, to the group A, wala thing. Group A, wala group, wala thing is known as Streptococcus pyogenes, guys. Okay. So here, what happens, guys? There is a capsule of hyaluronic acid because acute rheumatic fever and molecular mimicry, wala thing. M protein is there, guys. Okay. So here you have streptolysin O S, hyaluronidase, streptokinase, erythro erythropogenic toxin, guys. Okay. All the things like cellulitis, impetigo, other things, guys. Penicillin is the drug of choice, guys. Okay. So this, if we talk about this, um, basically a group A streptococcus pyogenes, guys. This is see first of all this is a phylococci hence this will be catalyst negative I think no confusion but this see pyogens how can you remember guys pyo that is p y r positive and pyogens is guys group A group A is bacitracin sensitive okay I think these are the important thing that you need to know about your pyogens wala group guys agalactia first of all remember group B is for baby guys that it causes meningitis and other thing. In group B, guys, if we talk about guys, okay, we have a thing that is known as CAM test positive. So, what is the full form of CAM test, guys? Not required, but I'll tell you. Christe Atkins Munch petition occurred, guys. Okay, this is again incomplete. Hi, mommy, molasses. Okay, guys, this causes number one cause for neonatal meningitis. Okay, see, guys. Okay, and drug of choice ampicillin plus aminoglycoside. Now coming on to the group D, guys. Okay, so basically this is basically the bile salt tolerant wala agar, guys. Okay. So what happens, guys? This is tolerant to forty percent bile, guys. Okay, and this grows on bile scoli na jai dagar. Okay, and this can cause UTI, respiratory tract infection, agar thing. Then streptococcus bovis, guys. Group D. That is non-enterococcal, guys. Okay, this hydrolysis with bile scoli na jai dagar, and this gives a black color colonies. Okay. So this was all that you need to know about your uh, about your streptococcus wala thing, guys. Okay. So see. Now we have we have done see we have done the gram positive guys we have done the gram positive cocci entire thing done okay so ah uh, so what are we doing now here guys here we are to, starting the gram positive bacilli guys okay so see if we uh, talk about the gram positive bacilli guys okay so non spore forming if we talk about guys okay we have aerobic and non aerobic things guys okay if we talk about the aerobic wala thing guys you have corine bacterium diphtheria Uh, no cardia and you have listeria monocytosis okay so what are the things that you need to know here here guys we first of all will be discussing those things guys okay so first uh, let's get started with our diphtheria wala thing guys okay when we talk about the corine bacterium diphtheria okay so this corine bacterium diphtheria basically is a club say about the chinese letter shape c c c you can see guys c d e f it e d p ribosylation of elongation factor 2 and you have volutin granules present guys okay so this volutin granules if we talk about guys okay this volutin granules are also known as guys bipolar granules or 
बेब्स एंड नेस्ट ग्रैन्यूल्स गाइज ओके सो हाउ डज इट अपेयर गाइज ओके सो बेसिकली बेसिकली गाइज वॉट इज द सीक्वेंस गाइज सो वेर डज इट सीन यू हैव बेसिकली थ्री स्टेन गाइज दैट इज द पैन स्टेन गाइज ओके दैट इज द पॉन्डस स्टेन ओके एल्बर्ट स्टेन एंड नीसर स्टेन ओके दिस आर द थ्री स्टेन गाइज ओके and here you have a sequence guys what is the sequence that is tim sequence that is toluidine blue iodine and malachite green okay this is your sequence guys okay so these are the places where you see volatile granules this is seen in your corini bacterium diphtheria so this is not exclusive this is also seen in some of the other places guys where it is seen guys this is seen in yeast guys okay sorry sorry this is seen in yeast this is seen in mycobacterium tb guys ओके एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो सीन इन गार्डन एला गाइज ओके एंड स्पाइड एन एला सो वॉट इज दिस फॉर्म ऑफ गाइज दिस इज फॉर्म ऑफ पॉली मेटा फॉस्फेट ग्रैन्यूल्स गाइज दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू नो गाइज ओके सी सो दिस वॉज अबाउट द चाइनीज लेटर नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द मीडिया वी हैव टॉक अबाउट द टू मीडिया इफ यू रिमेंबर इन डिपथेरिया गाइज वॉट वेर द टू मीडिया टेल्यूराइट वाला मीडिया एंड द लॉफलर सीरम इज लो वाला मीडिया टेल्यूराइट एंड द लॉफलर सीरम सी डी ई दैट इज इलेक्स टेस्ट पॉजिटिव गाइज देर इज अ सूडो मेमरेन प्रेजेंट गाइज This causes a myocarditis. This can cause a, a laryngeal nerve palsy, guys. Okay, and for the treatment, toxoid vaccine and antitoxin plus erythromycin for carriers, guys. Okay, I think this makes it very easy, guys. I think, and this can cause bull's neck. Another thing, guys, already done. Okay, see, when we talked about the two media, guys, one was the enriched media, guys. What was the enriched media? That was, guys, Loeffler serum slope. so when we count the number of letter in loeffler it's around 8 letter that is 6 to 8 hours it takes if we talk about the selective wala media guys that is the potassium telluride agar wala media this takes guys around 48 hours okay this is important this alex gel precipitation test we have done and also here if i have a sick sick test positive that is type 3 hypersensitivity guys okay so this is important all the thing that you need to know about in your diphtheria Now coming on guys to the listeria monocytogenes. So this is very important. This listeria tumbles down. That is tumbling motility. This is a facultative intracellular. Already we have discussed guys. Okay. See this listeria causes meningitis. All already done in neonates in renal transplant post cancer guys. Drug of choice is ampi placenta. Please remember at least this for uh, listeria guys. Okay. We have already done guys. Okay. See now what we have done guys. uh so here here we talked about basically non spore forming now we'll talk about our spore forming organism guys okay when we talk about our spore forming organism guys okay so spore forming we have bacillus guys okay bacillus cereus bacillus anthracis okay so bacillus cereus basically causes food poisoning wala camp wala thing cap does it comes in our mnemonic see fried rice ka history hoga okay symptomatic treatment see Bacillus the anthrax its capsule is different guys because it is made of polyglutamate capsule guys okay protective lethal edema and what is the this this uh, this media is known as the plaque media so you have a uh, blackish scar okay local edema if it goes through the inhalation that is known as wool sorter disease drug of choice is cipro or doxy anthrax means animal hide exposure you can remember like this okay see uh, so uh, so this is a table guys That basically classify your anaerobic wall is spore forming guys now, okay. So anaerobic guys you have Clostridium guys okay. So motile and non motile guys if we talk about that guys Clostridium okay. Perfringence okay. So basically this perfringence is non motile wall thing guys okay. So see how how do we how do we see it guys okay. So let's get started with this uh, with this thing okay. So see. When we talk about this uh, Clostridium वाला सब टाइप्स गाइज टिटनाई बॉटिलिनम एंड अदर थिंग गाइज ओके सो सी वेन दिस क्लॉस्टेडियम टेटनाई गाइज दे प्रोड्यूस टेटनाई दैट इज टर्म मिनल स्पोर एंड इट हैज टेटनो स्पैज मिन आई सेट गाइज दिस कॉजेज स्पैस्टिक पैरालिसिस ओके टॉक्सॉइड वैक्सीन फॉर ट्रीटमेंट बॉटोलिनम दिस इनिबिटेड द न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर दैट इट ब्लॉक्स द एसिटाइल कोलिन हियर यू हैव द स्पैस्टिक पैरालिसिस गाइज बट हियर यू हैव द फ्लैसिड पैरालिसिस This can may be due to food poisoning, wala thing, cane food, okay, guys. And this bottle inum, guys, infant bottle inum, other things, okay. Clostridium difficile, guys. This is due to the repeated antibiotic, guys. That is pseudo membranous colitis, guys. Antibiotics like clindamycin use, guys, okay. Now clostridium perfringens, guys. This is basically the perfringens. That is basically the gas ganglion, wala thing, guys, and subterminal spore. Alpha lactinases, that is phospholipase C, guys, okay. And this causes double zone of hemolysis. Already done, guys. Okay, gas ganglion, wala thing, guys, and debridement, wala thing, guys. 
आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ थिंग्स आई ऑलरेडी बिन डन गाइज ओके सो गाइज लेट्स लेट्स सिंप्लीफाई इट फर्दर गाइज सो डेट यू डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज गाइज सी स्पोर्ट्स इफ यू टॉक अबाउट गाइज दिस टेटनाई एंड टर्शियम बोथ हैव अ टर्मिनल स्कोर गाइज एंड इफ देर इज अ स्पीसीज नॉन एज बाई फॉर मेंटेन्स गाइज दैट इज बाई मीन्स इन द बेडल दैट इज सेंट्रल स्पोर गाइज नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द कैप्सूल वाला थिंग गाइज निमोनिक एंड द मोटाइल वाला निमोनिक गाइज ओके सी सो वी सो वी हैव अ सब्जेक्ट पी सी बी फिजिक्स सेमेस्ट्री बायो और और अ सब्जेक्ट नोन एज पी एम टी गाइज ओके सो सी इफ वी थिंक अबाउट द कैप्सूल पॉजिटिव गाइज ऑल आर नॉन कैप्सुलेटेड गाइज हियर इन क्लॉसिडम एक्सेप्ट टू थिंग गाइज दैट इज परफ्रेंजेंस एंड ब्यूटाइडिकम गाइज कैप्सूल इज प्रेजेंट गाइज ओके इफ वी थिंक अबाउट द मोटाइल वाला थिंग गाइज ऑल आर मोटाइल ओके एक्सेप्ट दिस टू थिंग दिस टू आर नॉन मोटाइल परफ्रेंजेंस एंड क्लॉसिडम टेटनाइट टाइप सिक्स basically they are non motile guys okay and this both are capsulated guys okay so see this is clostridium perfringens do you see this is kept in your non motile group guys okay so this is the reason the reason to be kept in this is clostridium dactyli guys this is also known as drum stick appearance guys okay so this is important guys okay see this perfringens the things that are important that it causes gas gangrene it causes guys myonecrosis guys okay these are the things that are important guys okay so uh, this is this is anaerobic means for um, robertson cooked media would be robertson cooked meat broth would be used guys so you have target hemolysis guys here okay that is double zone of hemolysis you have alpha lysinase phosphatase this is known as guys nagler's reaction this is very important for your mcq here you have reverse cam test positive can you recall guys for me where we have cam test positive this was in agalactea this is reverse cam positive guys okay this is anaerobe guys so double zone of hemolysis and nagler split nagler's reaction is positive guys okay so what happens in this reverse cam for a thing guys okay so what happens guys in this reverse cam here we streak like clostridium perfringens guys okay and this agalactea is streak here guys agalactea okay now what happens in your cam test okay so cam what happens here we streak s aureus guys okay and here we streak s agalactea okay so this was about your guys uh, clostridium perfringens wala thing guys okay see uh, we, uh, when we are in the non spore forming guys we there we have not talked about guys about our nocardia guys so nocardia is urea is positive punch case do you see guys partially acid first nocardia this is important guys 0.5 to 1% this causes mycetoma and uh, brain abscess wala thing guys okay then now coming on to the actinomyces israeli this causes sulfur granule guys okay this can cause a lumpy jaw this can be a possible question guys okay iud associated infection mycetoma guys okay so this was important about your uh, gram positive gram positive we have done the gram positive cocci and bacilli guys okay so we have tried to recall the most important things that may be asked in our exam guys okay so this was uh, this was few of the most important thing i would uh, like to add some point about our anthrax wala thing guys okay see spore forming we talked about bacillus uh, spore forming if we talk about guys remember like we have bacillus guys when we have clostridia okay see so this bacillus is actually aerobe okay and this clostridium is actually anaerobe so what we did here uh, in the next page we talked about the clostridium that is anaerobe wala thing guys and we classified it on the basis of your motility now we'll talk about the bacillus in details slightly guys okay so bacillus we have serous and anthracic guys okay so here the capsule guys okay here the capsule is important because this is the polypeptide capsule guys okay and toxin is made up of three part hence known as triparatide toxin okay how does this anthrax act remember the our mnemonic camp increases the cap means this is anthrax increases the camp guys okay now coming on to the types of anthrax guys okay so we have cutaneous anthrax okay that is known as height spotter why because it goes through the skin guys okay and what is the classical thing that you see here that is the malignant pustule or the scar guys okay see now coming on to the pulmonary wala anthrax guys okay that is known as the wool sorter disease this can cause pneumonia and other thing and you have intestinal wala thing also guys okay so this is important so what are the things that you see in your uh, see on your diagnosis guys if you see in your gram stain guys okay so uh, i have put a very classical image i think if you remember in my telegram group please check it out guys that is known as the bamboo stick appearance guys if we do it on the agar guys okay 
that is medusa head appearance guys okay a very classical image has been put where all the image has been integrated guys okay see if we do on the gelatin guys okay so gelatin step guys you have inverted for tree okay selective media is a plat media which we have already done guys on penicillin agar guys okay you have the guys a string of pearls okay penicillin remember pearls okay now guys you have other test positive that is is called a thermoprecipitin test guys okay so this was all the test that you need to know about guys okay if we talk uh, this was about anthrax guys. if we talk about our bacillus cereus guys okay so this is motile guys and here you have a selective media known as mypa media and pemba media guys okay See MYPA what is M M is mannitol Y is yolk P is polymyxin again so this is almost same just we have mixed something C P polymyxin again remember the same guys M is again mannitol B means bromothymol guys okay this was different guys okay clostridium already done Ab obligate anaerob clostridium guys we have already done all the species of clostridium see tetani guys I said about the two toxin that is tetanolysin and spasmin guys okay so that was is uh, this act as presynaptically if we talk about the postsynaptically guys that is the strychnine poisoning guys okay botulinum and other things already done guys this is important guys I think all of this has been already co uh, covered guys okay see now we will talk about the gram wala cocai guys okay when we talk our, about our uh, gram negative ka cocai guys okay so uh, gram positive cocai has been already discussed now talking to the gram negative cocai guy so we said Neisseria modexilla and venulella guys do you see Neisseria modexilla venomous people guys okay so when we talk about guys Neisseria we have two things meningitis and gonorrhea okay so see what are the difference guys this meningitis go and cause invasive infection hence it will have a capsule here no capsule guys okay so this meningitis guys remember like this guys that this is capsulated guys okay and this meningitis itis guys okay this is capsulated if you talk about the gonorrhea try to make a kidney out of it that this is kidney shape guys okay see pili are present in both guys okay see this Neisseria this causes the water house Fredrickson syndrome guys okay that is important Ma media is same for both guys this meningitis itis has a capsule hence vaccine will be present guys okay drug of choice is again the third generation of other thing guys so what are the things that you need to remember here guys okay meningitis m and g means both maltose fermenter and both glucose fermenter guys this is important here only g is there means only glucose fermentation first thing that is most important then guys this meningitis name in records is causes meningitis and this causes gonorrhea guys okay this is important guys okay so what this gonorrhea will cause this can cause std okay this can cause ophthalmon unitarum okay and what is the complication guys we have a complication guys what is that complication guys that is known as fils huck cortis syndrome guys okay that is important what is the media guys that is the thier martin media guys that is important guys and transport media already discussed that is the stoart or the amy's media guys okay and in vaccine with serotype we don't use guys b is not used what are the serotype that is used a c y and w135 guys i think this serotypes cover the thing has been already discussed guys okay see this serotypes see this is the neisseria meningitis guys if you can see okay see and this neisseria gonorrhea that is basically the kidney shape wala thing guys okay if we see thing uh, see guys here okay see this has been already discussed guys okay now see we'll move to the coco bacilli wala part if we move guys to the coco bacilli wala part guys so we have talked all about the gram positive bacilli gram uh, gram positive bas uh, gram positive cocci gram negative cocci and gram positive bacilli only only guys this gram negative bacilli wala thing have have remained guys okay so see first of all first of all guys we'll do the remaining thing guys that is uh, uh, the coco bacilli wala thing okay if we see the coco bacilli means both cocci and bacilli are present guys remember three things klebsiella bordetella and brucella guys okay so if we see guys this organism like bordetella brucella and other organism that we uh, that we come across guys okay so what are the things guys that is important to recall here in klebsiella and other thing guys okay so see h influenza guys this requires factor 5 and 10 i said because you have a chocolate agar so this heats so that some factors come out guys that is 10 is hemine and 5 is nad okay so see this cause meningitis how we have remembered hemophilus guys emop 
एपिग्लोटाइटिस मैनिजाइटिस ऑटो ठीक है ना ऑटाइटिस मीडिया एंड निमोनिया वाले थिंग्स दिस इज अगेन क्यूलैंग टेस्ट पॉजिटिव का इसके एप्सुल वाला थिंग इज पॉजिटिव प्रिवेंशन हेपेटाइटिस ह्यूमोफ्लस इन्फ्लुएंजा टाइप बी के अगेंस्ट वैक्सीन गाइज ओके नाउ कमिंग टू द बॉडी टेला गाइज हंड्रेड डे कप सो हियर यू हैव पर्ट्यूसिस टॉक्सिन गाइज ओके सो बेसिकली वॉट हैपन्स गाइज हियर बॉडेड गैंगो अगर बॉडे टेला के नेम से अगर वोपिंग कफ ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इज रिथ्रोमाइसिन ब्रूसेला सो बेसिकली वॉट हैपन्स इन ब्रूसेला गाइज यू हैव वेरियस स्पीसीज लाइक अबॉटर सो इज बेसिकली एनिमल वाले थिंग्स कम हियर गाइज ओके सो बेसिकली अन पेस्टोराइज मिल्क ओके एंडोलेंट फीवर गाइज ओके अबॉटस इज कैटल कैटल को यू हैव अबॉटेड स्वीस इज स्वी पिग ओके मेलीटेंसिस इज गॉड गोड ओके सो सी दिस इज अ फोटो ऑफ योर मैक कॉन्क की अगर गाइज आई सेट अबाउट द लैक्टोस फॉर्मेंटर इज पिंक पॉजिटिव एंड नॉन लैक्टोस फॉर्मेंटर इज कलरलेस गाइज डू सी ओके दिस हैज ऑलरेडी बिन डन सी दिस इज अबाउट द नॉन लैक्टोस फॉर्मेंटिंग ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट समथिंग्स हैज बिन की सी इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द मोटाइल गाइज दिस प्रोटियस दो प्रोटियस यू कैन रिमेंबर द मोटिलिटी वाई बिकॉज इट हैज अ स्वार्मिंग मोटिलिटी एंड दिस प्रोटियस फर्स्ट निमोनिक इन योर पंच किस गाइज स्टैग हॉन कैलकुलाइट ट्रिपल फॉस्फेट स्टोन ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस फ्लोडोक्यून ऑन गाइज आई ऑल्सो आई ऑल्सो सेट गाइज इफ यू सेट अबाउट द नॉन लैक्टोज गाइज पॉजिटिव वेट ई कोलाई एंड क्लेपशेला सैलमोनेला शिगेला ऑल वेट नेगेटिव डू यू सी गाइज सैलमोनेला शिगेला बट दिस सिगेला इज नॉन मोटाइल गाइज एंड नॉन एस टू एस प्रोड्यूसिंग गाइज ओके सो सी मैक कॉन्की अगर गाइज ओके वी कैन डू गाइज ओके यू हैव वी आई एंटीजन ओ एंटीजन फॉर सैलमोनेला टाइफी फॉर डायग्नोसिस आई थिंक यू कैन रिकॉल गाइज ओके सी यू हैव विडाल टेस्ट गाइज ऑस्टियोमाइलाइटिस एंड सिकल सेल एनिम ऑलरेडी डन गाइज यू हैव रोज स्पॉट्स इन टाइफॉइड फीवर गाइज ओके डग ऑफ शाइज सिफेलोस्पोरिन ऑफ एफ क्यू फ्लोरिक्यून अगेन यू सी शिगे लगाइज दिस कैन कॉज ब्लडी डायरिया गाइज ओके एंट्रोकोलाइटिस ब्लडी डायरिया सीगा टॉक्सिन गाइज ओके न्यूरोटॉक्सिन साइट्रोटॉक्सिन गाइज ओके सी दिस इज द बेसिकली द टिपिकल रोज स्पॉट्स ऑफ द टाइफॉइड फीवर एंड दिस इज द बेसिलरी डिसेंट्री ड्यू टू सेलमोलर टाइफ ओके सी नाउ कमिंग ऑन गाइज टू द ई कोलाई वाला थिंग इफ वी कम अक्रॉस द ई कोलाई तब सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज ई कोलाई इट इज द नंबर मोस्ट वन कॉमन कॉज फॉर यू ई टी मतलब यू टी आई ओके इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ ई कोलाई इंट्रो टॉक्सीजेनिक रिमेंबर टॉक्सीजेनिक इज ट्रेवलर्स डायरिया इंट्रो इन्वेजिव इन्वेजिव मीन्स इट गो इन साइड दैट इज इट विल कॉज डिस सेंट्री दैट इज ब्लड इन स्टोल नाउ एंट्रो हेमोडेजिक वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन हेमोडेजिक कोलाइटिस एच यू एस ओके सो दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट गाइज ओके दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन हेमोडेजिक वाला थिंग एंट्रोपैथिजोन एंट्रोपैथोजेनिक्स रिमेंबर पी फॉर रिमेंबर गाइज पी डियाट्रिक दैट इज इट कॉजेज गाइज इनफेंटाइल डायरिया ओके दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट गाइज ओके देन गाइज यू हैव डिफ्यूज एग्रीगेटिव ई कोलाई एंड ऑल्सो यू हैव वन मोर दैट गाइज दैट इज इंट्रो एग्रीगेटिव ई कोलाई सो इट विल एग्रीगेट गाइज सो ड्यू टू एग्रीगेशन इट विल बी परसिस्टेंट दैट इट कॉजेज परसिस्टेंट डायरिया ओके एंड ऑन हैप टू सेल लाइन गाइज दिस अपियर्स लाइक ए स्टैक्ट ब्रीक अपियरेंस गाइज ओके सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यूर एम सी क्यू ओके सो सी दिस इज डन सी वी हैव सम अदर ऑर्गेनिज्म गाइज दैट वी नीड टू नो ओके सो वी वोट गो इन दिस ऑर्गेनिज्म इन डिटेल गाइज द थिंग्स दैट वी नीड टू नो गाइज दैट दिस इज सेफ्टी पिन पॉजिटिव बाई पोलर स्टेनिंग और वेसन स्टेनिंग गाइज दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट गाइज दिस कैन कॉज ब्यूबेनिक प्लेग गाइज ओके यर सीनिया पेस्टिस गाइज ओके निमोनिक प्लेग ब्यूबेनिक प्लेग आर द वेरियस टाइप गाइज ओके दैट यू नीड टू नो नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द एच पायलोरी एच पायलोरी वन ऑफ द निमोनिक फॉर योर पंच केस गाइज ओके ट्राई टू रिवाइज योर निमोनिक अगेन एंड अगेन गाइज सो दैट इज यूरियस पॉजिटिव गाइज ओके दिस काउस इज गैस्ट्राइटिस ओके गाइज सो गैस्ट्राइटिस वी यूज अ ट्रिपल थेरेपी वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द रेजिमेंट गाइज दैट इज कैब थेरेपी गाइज दैट इज क्लैरिथ्रोमाइसिन एमोक्सिसन एंड लाइक एनी पी पी आई प्रोटोन पंप इन इबिटा गाइज ओके और एन एट जंक लाइक बिस्मुथ पी पी आई फॉर फोर्टी डेज गाइज ओके सी विवरियो विवरियो द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज द कॉमर शेप गाइज ओके दिस विवरियो ओके गाइज दिस इंक्रीजेज द कैम्प अगेन गाइज ओके सी दिस विवरियो यू हैव टू थिंग दैट इज क्लासिकल एल्टोर वाला थिंग राइस वाटर स्टूल ऑलरेडी डिस्कस गाइज ओके सो यू हैव विवरियो पैरा हिमोलिटिकस ऑल्सो गाइज दैट इज ड्यू टू रॉ सी फूड दिस इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यू एंड दिस वर्ली फिकस इज ड्यू टू ऑइस्टर्स गाइज क्लोस्टेडियम जजनी गाइज फोर्टी टू डिग्री सेल्सियस पे इट कैन ग्रो इट कैन कॉज गाइज दिस गिलियन बेरे सिंड्रोम ओके सी नाउ कमिंग ऑन गाइज टू द ल्यूगलेना न्यूमोफिला गाइज ओके 
सो बेसिकली गाइज एलियोगनला बी सी ये ले बफर चारकोल इस्टागार गाइज ओके and this is basically uh, this pneumophila remember like a ac guys okay so in ac event another thing do you get this this is atypical pneumonia guys drug of choice is erythromycin now coming on to the klebsiella guys this klebsiella can again cause pneumonia capsule is again present hence killing the so do you remember for klebsiella you have a red currant jelly put on this is very important this pneumonia ka history klebsiella this is the typical history may be given in chronic lung disease in alcoholic this is the very common history that is given guys again treatment cephalosporin plus amino glycoside now pseudomonas arizonosa this is the cause of hospital acquired infection guys okay so what are the pigment that is blue green pigment pyocyanin pyoverdin again i said about the connot plus that is clostridium diphtheria and pseudomonas arizonosa uh, uh, means like similarly uh, pneumonia and cystic fibrosis guys so this is very important guys okay drug of choice penicillin guys okay see anaerobes we have already done three things bsc cannot breathe air guys do you see Clostridium, foul smelling, bacteroids, abdominal abscess, that dental abscess, ureus producing guys typical history, proteus, UTI, ureoplasma that is non gonococcal urethritis, gonococcal, klebsiella, UTI, pneumonia history guys, okay. Aerobes if we talk about pseudomonas erysinosa is a typical aerob guys. So this classical history in cystic fibrosis. No cardia that is pulmonary infection guys. Mycobacterium is a typical aerob. Bacillus anthrax is anthrax guys, okay. See. so this was all about now uh, coming on to the non gram stain wall things guys okay some of the things which do not take up gram stain very well guys okay so here guys we have mycobacterium guys then guys we have mycobacterium leprae pneumonia leptospira borrelia and treponema and some rickettsia and other things guys okay so see uh let's get started guys here okay see we have mycobacteria guys okay so mycobacteria guys uh in when we talk about our mycobacteria so mycobacterium uh mycobacterium tb avium there are many things guys that comes under our mycobacteria well, thing see do you see this is the acid first strain if you can recall guys okay that is on a blue background you can see the pink bacilli guys okay they are acid fast already done obligate adobe gones complex is present guys okay this is already secondary reactivation it can cause basically cases necrosis at the apex what are the typical history that the question may give you night sweat ho gaya evening rise of temperature hemoptysis this is the ghost cell area so this was the question asked what is the cause for granuloma interferon gamma causes the granuloma this was your question in your recent inict okay so this see this is the calcified island nodule guys okay see then also guys we have uh something known as guys uh mycobacterium like organism that is in accordance to the reunions classification guys okay so we have photochromosome scotochromosome non photochromosome and rapid grower so if we talk about the photochromosome that can grow in both dark and light so the mnemonic is mask guys okay that is av avm semi and kansas see this kansas is a tb like illness okay now now guys coming on to the uh, coming on to the uh, this uh, this is guys mycobacterium avm inter intercellular guys okay so this is basically guys uh, non photochromosome okay guys so this is uh, aids patient uh, okay acid fast again the similar thing guys now coming on to the mycobacterial lepra this causes leprosy we have remembered fight for our stain type 5 is the mnemonic 5% h2so4 reservoir is the nine banded aramidillo types it can have a wide spectrum guys according to which classification guys that is known as ridley jopling classification okay treatment is rifampicin dapson and clofazamine guys okay see coming on to the mycoplasma pneumonia we already said this has no cell wall but in cell membrane it, it contains argo argostrol wall thing guys okay causes atypical pneumonia uh, pneumonia guys okay treat with tetracycline or erythromycin guys spirochetes guys if we talk about that is cock screw in shape guys borrelia lepto and treponema guys okay and penicillin j for prophylaxis guys lepto spira guys this is basically the three r that is presence of rat urine uh, rice water field guys okay so this is important in your uh, lepto spira ka history guys okay see so uh, this lepto spira there, there is a uh, classical type means this that is known as ectrohemorrhagic fever that is the wills disease guys okay that causes renal and liver failure that we treat with doxycycline guys okay see then borrelia borrelia burdock fairy guys causes the lyme's disease guys see the uh, see the emails guys okay stage 1 erythema chronica migraines okay then you have migratory polyarthritis treatment borrelia bd that is doxycycline 
Treponema Persian causes the yaws, guys. Okay, this is important. Okay, Treponema pallidum. This is important. Syphilis, paleness, ulcer with paleness, lymph adenopathy. If we talk about the secondary, you have rash on palms or cell, condylomolata, and Buschke or Lindroff syndrome, guys. Okay, sign. Tertiary, you have gummas. Okay, Tabis dorsalis, guys. Okay, and Argyll Argyll Robertson people already discussed in ophthal video. Diagnostic test: VD Adel, Venereal Disease Research Laboratory Treatment, Penicillin G. Cat scratch fever, guys. That is Bartonella species. Okay, so this is Bartonella. Okay, that is Bacillary angiomatosis. Remember Bartonella, Bacillary angiomatosis, guys. Brucella. Already discussed, guys. Brucella abortis to his dairy product history. Tularemia is again according uh, due to animal wala thing, guys. That is tick bite rabbits, guys. Cellulitis in Pastorella multicida. Animal may be either cat dog. So basically, these are the genotic infection that they have classified for you. See, guys. Rickettsia has been already discussed in very detail in one of the video guys. Please go and watch that video for Rickettsia guys. Okay. Now guys coming on to the Chlamydia guys. So Chlamydia is again obligate intracellular means it does not produce its own ATP. It lacks some uramic acid guys. So you have two form that is the elementary form and the uh, reticulate body. This elementary form is the transmitted and reticulate body is the intracellular form guys. Okay. So this Chlamydia guys if we talk about the serotype guys. You have A to C guys that causes conjunctivitis. Serotype D2K causes neonatal conjunctivitis and L1, L2, L3 causes lymphogranuloma venerum. Now coming on guys to the chlamydia pneumonia causes atypical pneumonia. Trachomitis can cause sexually transmitted disease, pelvic inflammatory disease and urethritis. C. Taki that causes pneumonia on parrot PPP guys okay. So I think uh, this cocobacillus has already been discussed guys okay. So uh, this was all I think that we need to know about your from your bacterial part guys okay so uh come uh, come and try and let's integrate guys with our knowledge the knowledge whatever knowledge guys that we got let's integrate our knowledge with uh, our uh, means uh, usmly first aid guys okay see this already discussed entire table guys this has been already discussed guys okay now let's get started from your strepto strep streptococcus pneumonia guys okay so we'll start with the streptococcus pneumonia wala thing and uh, i think we have few pages i think we need that we need to go i think around seven eight ten pages guys uh let let's complete it guys okay so that uh bacteriology is completed as a whole guys and whatever we have read till now we can revise it guys okay streptococcus pneumonia alpha hemolytic guys vip wala mnemonic op vip okay see this is lanculate shape guys okay already done Optosin sensitive bile soluble already done causes of meningitis otitis pneumonia sinusitis guys okay and here this pneumonia have a rusty sputum if you have a red current jelly sputum guys that is Klebsiella okay so try to annotate with your first aid guys okay so viridens group streptococci guys okay viridens res resistant insoluble guys Okay, this can cause very dense, that is dental caries, guys. Okay, this sanguinis may damage your heart valves, guys. Okay, that is important, guys. Now, coming on to the streptococcus pyogenes, guys. Okay, so this pyogenes, guys, that is group positive cocaine chains, guys. Okay, so this can cause pyogenic means pharyngitis, cellulitis, cellular impetigo is basically classical honey crust, crust appearance on the lips, guys. Image may be given. Toxigenic that can cause scarlet fever. Uh, it can cause glomerulonephritis. This PYA that is bacitrin sensitive and PYR positive guys. Okay, that is important guys. Okay, see. Uh, so what are the virulence factor? Anything uh, means anything that will break breaking the DNA, breaking the streptokinase, anti ASO titer, DNA titer guys. These are important guys. Okay. See agalactis B B B say remember beta hemolytic B for remember babies. This is cam test positive guys. Hepatite test positive guys. This is important guys. Bovis bovis uh, bovis can cause uh, endocarditis and that increases the risk of colon cancer. Enterococci guys. We have already discussed the two things that is fecalis and the fecum guys okay so what are the things guys uh, uh they they are classical catalyst negative and pyr positive guys they grow in 6.5 percent bile guys okay that is important now bacillus anthrax guys we have polypeptide ca capsule instead of uh, everywhere guys where we have polysaccharide capsule okay cutaneous anthrax see the classical photo guys blackish scar guys Pulmonary anthrax that will basically have a pulmonary hemorrhage and other things guys okay so this uh, so this is also pulmonary so wool sorter disease cutaneous so hide potter disease guys okay see 
now now coming on for the bacillus series guys this causes food poisoning guys okay by, uh, basically uh, due to the, it is caused by guys cerulite that is a preformed toxin so this was new guys okay see now clostridium guys so okay so clostridium you have many things that tetani botulinum perfringens difficile okay so basically this was spore forming this clostridium guys okay Cl clostridium and bacilli both were spore forming but this clostridium is obligate anaerobe guys okay so that is important and this botulinum and to uh, toxin guys they they cleave the snare protein guys so already done guys see tetanus causes tetanic uh, paralysis that is spastic paralysis so tetanospasm in what does it do it spreads by retrogonal and blocks the release of glycine and gaba guys in the denso cells of the spinal cord see these are the features that are already discussed guys then clostridium botulinum in, ba in baby it can cause sloppy baby syndrome guys and what are the features of uh, botulism 5d remember guys diplopia dysarthria dysphasia dyspnea and descending flaccid paralysis guys okay this is basically the uh, basically in the cane, cane bottle or the honey guys okay clostridium perfringens it causes basically leg ulcer myonecrosis gas gangrene alpha toxin lecithinase and other thing guys okay see clostridium difficile it causes a pseudomembranous colitis guys okay this is important remember difficile causes diarrhea okay guys treatment is vancomycin this is important okay for any bacterium diphtheria this is the most classical image this image has been at least last two three times guys okay the same image they give you again and again guys okay see basically cdef adp realization of elongation factor 2 it can cause necrosis in the cns heart other things guys okay grayish white pseudo membrane is produced bulk neck appearance guys okay lab diagnosis metachromatic granule babe sarnest granule lx test positive sick test positive okay and see mnemonic a b c d a d p silosin b beta beta bacterial phase guys okay c or any bacterium e e f2 elongation factor 2 g granules guys that is metachromatic granule now coming on to the listeria guys so what was the this we read about in a, a neonatal meningitis well this is a facultative intracellular well thing this grows well at refrigeration temperature which is known as the cold enrichment okay guys okay see this uh forms rocket tails okay this image that is seen okay guys that helps to move across the cell membrane this can cause guys this uh, produces a characteristic tumbling motility this can cause see septicemia see this is very important septicemia spontaneous abortion in pregnant lady okay and neonate infection guys treatment mp plus janta guys this is must know guys this has been also asked question okay see now coming on to the nocardia and actinomyces this nocardia was a rope but this actinomyces cannot breathe air clostridium bacteroids and this actinomyces guys this nocardia is a weak acid first 0.5 to 1 percent acid first this is not acid first this nocardia causes or this is found in the soil and causes a pulmonary infection guys okay uh this causes oral facial infection guys uh, sulfur granules are present guys okay this is important guys okay see so the mnemonic is snap guys okay what is snap sulfona mites for nocardia and actinomyces for penicillin this is important mnemonic guys read it okay see now coming on to the mycobacteria guys so mycobacteria tb see see this we have missed mycobacterium sulfuriaceum causes lymphadenitis and this marinum causes uh mycobacterium marinum causes hand infection guys okay see tb symptom already done okay uh, you have you have the other mycolic acid for acid fast purified protein derivative test is doing done guys we have langer langer hand giants we have lang hand giant cell instead of langer hand guys okay please see it guys okay leprosy guys lepromatous leprosy most matlab uh, bad wala leprosy leonin like faces you have tuberculosis leprosy guys okay this is the gram negative ka algorithm guys okay see nisseria uh, gonococci go, 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 see guys gonococci no polysaccharide no maltose guys okay because only g is there here both is there no vaccine guys okay this is a capsulated hence we'll have vaccine guys okay we have already done guys hemophilus influenza see guys it causes emop epiglottitis meningitis it produces factor 5 and 10 for its growth guys already done here also it's capsulated hence vaccine would be there guys okay see guys so uh so guys i think uh this uh, this is all i think this has already been done guys most of the thing just go through it once guys so that this helps you in easy revision guys of these things guys this is like jerry's uh, uh, reaction guys this is important that may be asked with you guys okay so just go with it go through it once guys see has already been discussed in one of my videos guys okay so 
go through it once guys and uh, in the next video guys uh, in this video we won't be starting the myco i think this will take a lot of time or wait i think we should complete it let's complete it only guys okay mycology guys okay so this is very easy guys let's make it very simple guys okay so see if the color is black guys that is basically gms stain if it is pink guys that is pass stain okay fluorescent stain binds to the calgo fluoride white culture sabodors dextrose agar culture morphology lpc v means it will appear blue in color that is lactophenol cotton blue cryptococcus guys in csf it's india ink and in tissue it's music i mean guys the important thing that may be asked guys it's is this cryptococcus is like it's candida aseptate guys you have mucor and rhizopus guys okay this is the important thing that can be asked guys. now coming on to the classification guys it may be either superficial cutaneous subcutaneous systemic okay so the important mnemonic that we need to know is the di dimorphic fungi wala mnemonic guys okay so dimorphic fungi the mnemonic is body heat probably changes shape okay because it is in two form remember yeast sound similar to heat that is at room temperature around 37 mold sound similar to cold guys that is 25 degree b means blastomyces h means histoplasma p means paracocidomycosis c means cocidomycosis s means spodothrix see what comes in superficial guys tinea versi papitrasis versicolor tinea nigra piarda black and white pedra cutaneous guys you have tinea and you have dermatophytes means trichophyton microsporum and epidermophyton and candidiasis guys subcutaneous guys you have rhinosporidium sporotrichosis chromoblastomycosis and mycetoma then systemic guys already done body heat probably changes shape wala thing guys okay see let's see a, a summary table for your superficial mycosis then we'll see some more important thing that needs to be added up guys petrasis versicolor caused by malassezia fur fur generally hypopigmented macule this is known as spaghetti and meatball or banana and grape appearance you can see this image guys okay spaghetti meatball banana and grapes guys okay and ओके सी टीनिया नाइग्रा गाइस दिस इज ड्यू टू एक्सोफियाला वर्नी की गाइस ओके निग्रा निग्रो दैट इज ब्लैक गाइस ओके दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट देन यू हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ पियाड्रा गाइस दैट इज ब्लैक पियाड्रा एंड व्हाइट पियाड्रा रिमेंबर ब्लैक मींस हॉट ओके आफ्टर बर्निंग यू हैव मेड इट ब्लैक गाइस दिस इज बिजली दैट इज बी गेली बिजली व्हेन इट शाइंस द लाइटनिंग दैट इज व्हाइट इन कलर गाइस दिस इज ब्लैक नोड्यूल दिस इज क्रीम कलर्ड नोड्यूल ओके गाइस now coming on to the individual one guys that is tinea versicolor caused by malassezia fur fur guys okay so see you have a well defined lesion guys okay normally it's hypopigmented but maybe hyperpigmented maybe red a variant has been shown here okay see what are the important thing guys you have fine scale guys normally you have spaghetti and meatball appearance so spaghetti are the high pay and meatballs are the east guys wood light you will have pale yellow fluorescence why do you see fluorescence guys reason due to pteridin pigment guys culture hda agar and this is a lipophilic fungus guys because you need to add olive oil guys okay this appearance is known as fried egg appearance also we read a fried egg appearance in the mycoplasma that was pplo now coming on to the tinea guys okay if we see the tinea ka manifestation guys you have non inflammatory and inflammatory non inflammatory is gray gray dot tinea and black dot tinea and inflammatory important is carrion and fevers guys okay so see this is the image of your carrion okay and this is the image of fevers okay so how will you remember guys okay so remember guys how i have remembered the fevers fevers see that is shonle and fevers causes a cup shaped crust known as the scutula scutula is the cup shaped crust now remembering the kirion so how i remember kirion ktm that kirion is due to the trichophyte on mentagorophyte okay I think this will help you recall. Now coming on to the black dot tinea. So remember something like a black dot person who gets violent guys. Okay, so a short tempered S for S for this. Okay, and T tonsillitis and violent V I O violation. Okay, and other other ectotics we don't need to know guys. Okay, this was important. See now various infection we have the name tinea capitis again if it is of the hair. See corporis body. Okay, pedis foot. You can see the co correlate with the images too. Crudis guys of the groin, angum guys of the nails. Okay, only nails. Capitis head ka guys. Favors scalp ka. Manum hand ka. 
बारबे दैट इज द बियड वाले एरिया का ओके गाइज सी नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द ट्राइगो फाइट एंड एपी डेमो फाइट ऑन एंड माइक्रोस्पोरम सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दैट इज फ्रिक्वेंटली जैसे सी दिस इज बेसिकली समरी टेबल गिविंग एवरी थिंग गाइज ओके सो हाउ वी रिमेंबर इट गाइज ओके सो दिस इज द क्लासिकल दिस इज द बेस्ट निमोनिक दैट आई फंड टेल दैट दैट वॉज गिवन बाई प्रीति मैम गाइज ओके सो सी दिस इज दिस इज बेसिकली हाउ वी कैन रिमेंबर गाइज टी एम ई टेलीग्राम का शॉर्ट फॉर्म पी एस सी दैट इज प्रीति शर्मा चैनल वन ऑफ द बेस्ट चैनल्स टू डेट पैथन माइक्रो गाइज ओके सी सो सो टी मीन्स ट्राइकोफाइटोन एम मीन्स माइक्रोस्पोरम ई मीन्स एपिडामोफाइटोन पी एस सी सी दिस इज द पेंसिल शेप This is the spindle shape and this is the club shape, guys. Okay, so this was macro conoidia, bada wala conoidia. Now coming to the micro conoidia. In in this I means this first you have numerous, then you have free, then you have absent, guys. Okay, so this is important, guys. Okay, so trichophyton, guys. It will involve three things: skin, hair, and nail. Epidermophyton, guys. Skin is involved in all of them. Epidermophyton ends with n, means it will involve the nail, guys. Okay. Microsporum. Here, sir, micro structure that it will form the skin and the hair, guys. Okay. See, now coming on to the anthrophilic zoophilic. Sometimes they ask you guys, zoophilic. Remember, like the name, some dog, cat will come, guys. Like canis, very cosum. Zoophilic, gypsum, geo, earth. एंथ्रोफिलिक गाइज दैट इज वाइज शॉर्ट टेम्पर्ड वाला थिंग गाइज ओके वायलेंट टॉन्सरेंस वाला थिंग गाइज ओके दिस वॉज ऑल्सो फॉर शॉर्ट टेम्पर्ड ओके सी सो दिस इज चेक आउट द समरी टेबल गाइज ट्राइकोफाइटन ऑल द थ्री माइक्रो स्पोर माइक्रो हेयर विल कम गाइज एपिडर्मोफाइटन एंड विद एन गाइज हेंस नेल विल कम डू यू सी सी स्पोर्ट्स माइक्रो कॉनिडिया इट विल डिक्रीज रिलेटिवली एंड पेंसिल शेप स्पिंडल शेप एंड क्लब शेप गाइज ओके See the other important thing that we need to know about this mentegrophyte guys is hair perforation test positive guys this is important guys okay other things are not so important that we'll skip guys okay now coming on to the dimorphic wala thing guys okay when we come on to the dimorphic thing guys so the mnemonic was body heat probably changes shape so we have some of the other name guys okay so let's make it super easy with the help of mnemonic guys if we talk about this blastomycosis how i remember guys okay so i i have remembered is guys like nab okay so what happens guys here is nab guys okay so see nab uh, you you i might have heard the term nabh many hospitals are nabh accredited nabh means north american blastomyces guys okay so this is nabh accredited guys okay this is also known as chicago and gilchrist guys okay uh, okay this was about nabh now coming on to the histoplasma guys this is a very easy mnemonic that is hi darling okay so when you tell hi darling that is histoplasma this is also known as darling's disease this is found in oyo disease o h i hi comes here mississippi h i m i sounds almost similar guys this is found in missouri river wet now coming on to the hokkaido mycosis so i made a mnemonic today for this guys okay that is the cord valley okay we are doing a coding guys that is the cord valley that c o hokkaido mycosis seen in desert d desert rheumatism and valley is the code guys para cocaidomycosis so while reading this i made a mnemonic that is para selling guys okay so when you para sell guys okay so para cocaidomycosis guys is south american blastomycosis no confusion as south american guys okay see now coming on to the individual one by one guys that is histoplasma guys so this histoplasma is a dimorphic wall organism already done this causes pneumonia this is similar in fact the lung guys and you remember guys when we talked about our uh, video on necrosis wala thing guys we talked in cases necrosis histoplasma similar guys so remember the mnemonic histoplasma hides in macrophage guys means it's smaller in size guys and it's transmitted by the bird or the wet dropping guys this is very important guys here we see the presence of the tuberculate macroconoidea how can you remember it like histoplasma is similar to tb guys so with the help of tb remember tuberculate macroconoidea now coming on to the blastomyces guys you have the figure of eight appearance do you see the figure of eight guys dimorphic okay so blastomycosis hi darling mi this is cp granulomatous infection remember this this is this is eight micron ka size all the thing is b is almost like eight broad based budding yeast guys okay now coming on to the hokkaido mycosis code valley guys okay dimorphic again okay this will cause again pneumonia meningitis see what is the thing that is important so basically what happens guys here okay code valley so when you go through the coding guys you need to put some password here we have put the password abcd abcd that is barrel shaped arthrospore okay 
and guys here cd that is uh that is uh basically code only guys okay c is basically cocaidomycosis d is desert valley rheumatism fever guys okay so basically here you find thick world endospores inside guys okay and here you have a barrel shaped arthrospore guys see this is the barrel shaped arthrospore now com coming on to the uh, paracocaidon mnemonic was guys that is parasailing guys again when you sail guys you will sail with the help of a captain mariner or pilot wheel okay either you can go above guys you can see the water pilot wheel mariner wheel or the captain wheel or mickey mouse appearance guys this is no see this is the mycelial form and this is the basically your pa pilot wheel appearance guys now coming on to the guys sporothrix scanchai guys okay so this is sporothrix scanchai what does the scanchai this thrick porn uh, this is like a prick guys okay so this is due to a rose prick that is known as rose gardener's disease guys so here what do you see guys this is the lymphatic screen against the line of the lymphatic means along the line so this is known as sporotrichid pattern guys okay so what are the things guys? with the help of rose you may remember the rosettes of conoidia guys see these are the rosettes of conoidia guys okay see here you can see here you can see a star like guys this, okay this is known as asteroid body uh, also asteroid bodies are seen in sarcoidiasis but here it's extracellular guys okay this is known as sporotrichosis c you can see along the line of lymphatic now coming on to the pencil and marfani or telluromyces marfani guys here the important thing that you need to remember guys telluromyces okay this this has guys a broom or a brush appearance guys and the reservoir is bamboo rats guys okay and the this produces a pigment known as the red pigment guys okay this is you can remember like this marna when you kill someone marna okay that is a red pigment guys okay see now coming on to the mycetoma you have eumycetoma actinomycetoma so this act eumycetoma are actually the fungi wala thing actinomycetoma see we already did actinomyces is rally do you remember no cardia so they are gram positive organism already done 0.5 to 5 1 micron right okay so we have a uh, classical thing in mycetoma that is 3s so what is 3s guys guys that is sulfur granule discharging sinus okay and swollen okay so you, do you see here guys see granules discharging sinus sulfur okay you mycetoma madurella mycetoma is the most common cause guys okay they are they are basically due to fungi now coming on guys to the chromoblastomycosis guys when we come to the chromo so how to remember chromoblastomycosis remember like this guys how, how i remember chrome colored fungi means chrome means golden golden yellow brown colored fungi okay chrome colored fungi blasting blasting uh blasting varicose wart on the skin blasting varicose wart on the skin so there is a wart like lesion guys okay so you have body known as the copper penny body chrome colored which is also known as medullar body muriform body or the sclerotic body guys okay this is important guys and this is caused by three thing guys that is fialophora fonchesia and cladio cladiophilophora but not so important guys now guys coming on to the rhinosporidium so the important thing guys that this rhinosporidium is caused by rhinosporidium seaberry here you find spadules with endospores inside it this is not cultivatable okay you have two things that cannot be cultivated here in fungi that is rhinosporidium seaberry and the other one is the pneumocystis zero vesica pneumonia wala thing guys okay so uh, here uh, the infection this causes basically a strawberry like polypoid mass in the nose guys okay this can cause ocular infection or the cutaneous infection treatment is x season okay this was important now guys coming on to the opportunistic infection like candida aspergillus and other thing guys when we talk about this candida albicans guys okay this is the opportunistic infection so this candida infection you can you might have remembered the oral thrush and other things in candida guys okay so see uh if if this happens to vaginal infection this is also known as moniliasis this may be ask is your question guys okay this can cause vulvo vaginitis guys thrush and esophagitis endocarditis and iv drug abuse see you have a phenomena known as the jerk tube phenomena this is positive guys only for albicans okay see if we talk about the test guys there are three tests to identify albicans guys that is jump tube test chlamydospore test and cyclohexamide resistance guys but this chlamydospore uh, production on corn me laga this is positive for two thing guys albicans and dubliansis guys this is important if all three are positive guys then no leads albicans else you can differentiate on the help of chrome agar media which is given on the next page guys okay this jump tube test helps to differentiate candida albicans okay see so what are the 
क्लासिकल हिस्ट्री दे मेगी इम्पेयर इम्यून सिस्टम डायबिटीज इम्यूनो सप्रेशन मेलेग्नेंसी ओके सो दिस विल दिस विल कॉज गाइज सूडो मेमिस मेमडेनस लीजन गाइज ओके वेन यू ट्राई टू रिमूव इट देर विल बी ब्लीडिंग इन साइट इट गाइज दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द क्रोम मगर इट इज यूज टू आइडेंटिफाई अदर स्पीसीज गाइज दिस एल्बिकेंस गाइज दैट इज लाइट ग्रीन गाइज ओके नाउ दिस ट्रोपिक एलिस ट्रोपिकल ब्लू ओके नाउ दिस ग्लैबराटा ग्लैबराटा के अपेयर्स क्रीम टू व्हाइट इन कलर गाइज ओके एंड क्रूज ही अपेयर्स एट क्रूज पर्पल क्रूज पर्पल मार्टिनी क्रूज दैट इज पर्पल ओनली ओके now guys coming on to the aspergillus guys so the things that are important for aspergillus aspergillus has a acute angle branching if you see in the image guys do you see see the acute angle branching in the image guys okay and this is septate this is very very important okay and this is a opportunistic infection guys okay now see when we talked about the aspergillus guys you have three species flabus fumigatus and nigger okay so how nigger you can remember like a nigro everything is black guys fumigatus you have a fume guys okay so the fume is smoky green guys okay and when you have a fume guys fume does not fume arises top guys on the top guys so basically it covers only the upper two third guys okay when you have a flavors guys this flavors okay this is yellow green l wala touch guys okay yellow green and this flavors is full guys entire all around guys okay so this is the hda picture this is the lactophenol cotton blue picture guys okay now coming on to the cryptococcus neoformis guys okay so this cryptococcus neoformis on india ink it appears like this guys okay so this is a cryptococcus is a yeast form already discussed guys this can cause meningitis this pneumonia this is found in soil dropping and other thing guys okay like bird so the media bird seed agar niger seed agar basically the seeds in the soil you can remember like this okay so in in the tissue it is stained with music music aramine guys okay and latex agglutination test may be used for the diagnosis now guys coming on to the uh, see now guys coming on to the uh, pneumocystis uh, pneumocystis carry uh, pneumocystis zero by side guys okay so this pneumocystis carry pneumonia also known as the pcp plasma cell pneumonia history of immunocompromise what is the typical appearance guys seen here that is the crushed pink pall appearance or the hat and the saucer appearance guys okay see mucor mycosis is mota that is aseptate guys okay Aspergillus was septate, guys. Okay. Now see the important thing that we need to know. This galactomannan, guys. It is present in only the wall of Aspergillus, hence positive only for Aspergillosis. Galactomannan only Aspergillus positive, guys. Okay. So this is important. Aspergillus A G. Okay. Now see beta D glucan is present in all of them except three thing, guys. So positive for all except mucor, crypto, and blastomycosis, guys. Okay. See. so this was important guys about this okay see uh now now then guys after after we are done with this guys we have some some other things guys okay see this is a table guys that has summarized your entire thing try to see the image guys aspergillus what are the things acute angle branching and septic figure of it blastomycosis oral thrush pseudo hyphae and guys you have uh, isti pisti colonies guys that is candida then guys you have barrel shaped arthrospore and you have spherules inside it guys okay that is guys cocidomycosis then cryptococcus guys this is basically the cryptococcus was isti wala colonies guys okay that is again then guys this pneumocystis xerophysi crushed ping pong ball appearance this is the tuberculate macroconidia tb similar to histoplasma okay mucor guys that is the mucor is guys at a branching at a right angle you can see the branching at a right angle guys okay now see the important points guys okay aspergillus if you see guys acute angle septate you see blastomycosis broad based budding yeast candida yeast yeast present guys and pseudo hyphae guys cocidomycosis is spherules within the endospore guys see this is what cryptococcus guys there is clear halos guys okay pneumocystis guys there are foamy cells guys okay yeast like cupboard shaped cyst guys histoplasma histoplasma is narrow based budding broad based is blastomycosis guys mucor is right angle branching guys okay mota ribbon like guys okay now let's integrate it with our first aid to guys histoplasma guys hi darling oyo a mississippi h i m i guys it hides within the macrophage it's hide means it is small that's the smaller than rbc now blastomycosis blastomycosis nab guys okay that is north american blastomycosis broad based bb guys okay it disseminates to the bone and the skin may mimic squamous cell carcinoma 
कोकाइडोमाइकोसिस गाइस कोड वैली दैट इज डेजर्ट वैली एंड डेजर्ट फीवर एंड रोमैटिज्म गाइस ओके दिस इज लार्जर देन द आरबीसी गाइस ओके नो पैरा कोकाइडोमाइकोसिस पैरा सेलिंग दैट इज साउथ अमेरिका गाइस ओके कैप्टन्स विल मरीनस विल गाइस नो कमिंग ऑन टू द कैंडिडा कैंडिडा एल्बिकेंस एल्बा मींस वाइट गाइस ओके सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ डाइमॉर्फिक फंगी गाइस ओके अगेन यू हैव ईस्ट फॉर्म एंड द हीट फॉर्म गाइस ओके सो दिस कैन कॉज इंफेक्शन इन डायबिटीज इम्यूनो कॉम्प्रोमाइज स्टेरॉइड्स ओके दिस ऑल कॉज गाइस ओके इट इन cause disseminated candidiasis treatment includes uh, nystatin as also guys okay now guys coming on to the aspergillus fumigatus aspergillus acute angle branching and it is a septate thing guys already done guys see uh, now what are the things guys in aspergillus so this causes invasive aspergillus in immunocompromised patient guys okay it can cause aspergilloma means cavity basically in existing lung cavity some species of aspergillus produces aflatoxin we know that aflatoxin is associated with hepatocellular carcinoma aspergillus the treatment of choice is voriconazole guys you have abpl that is allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis that is hypersensitivity response to aspergillus aspergillus guys okay then you have cryptococcus neoformis cryptococcus was narrow budding guys okay this is not a dimorphic already we know guys this is pass positive guys okay and this is music aramin also positive guys okay this is basically in a uh, quite through inhalation india ink pe clear hello already done guys music aramin mein red inner capsule in the tissue guys already done latex agglutination test to detect the uh, polysaccharide capsule already done guys okay treatment amphotericin b plus fluocytosin because it requires the deeper penetration since it causes meningitis now guys coming on to the mucor and rhizopus so i said this mucor and rhizopus guys already we have already this is a septate wala thing guys okay non septate hype and this branch at right angle mota wala thing okay see so basically mucor mycosis has been very popular in our, during our covid time diabetic ketoacidosis neutropenia so this has caused mucor mycosis this can cause abscess cavernous sinus thrombosis and other thing treatment we need to surgically debridge it guys okay so see these are the various images guys you can see uh, all the images guys like we'll see some of the images guys okay so this is basically oral thrush guys if you can see this is acute angle branching guys this is basically guys this cryptococcus wala india ink ka stain guys okay so these are the this is music aramin tissue mu uh, sorry sorry guys so, this is this is music aramin wala stain guys tissue ka stain if you can see okay so this is basically the mucor mycosis ka thing guys that you can see now guys coming on to the pneumocystis xerovaceae guys this causes pneumocystis pneumonia plasma cell pneumonia which is a yeast like fungus guys this is di uh, th there is a diffuse okay bilateral ground glass hepatitis on lung imaging guys treatment is trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole guys okay this is important guys yeah trust pink pong ball appearance sporothrixis can say that was due to rose gardner pain uh, means uh, prick rose gardner cigar shaped yeast is seen here guys treatment is potassium iodide okay remember like a rose gardner who smokes a cigar and a pot use up cigar and a pot because you need to plant guys now coming on guys to the treatment guys if we come on to the treatment pile guys okay superficial mycosis guys means all that involve dermatophyte and other thing guys okay so the treatment of choice is basically itraconazole or the terbinafin examples are tinea piadra and dermatophyte now coming on to the deep mycosis that is uh, subcutaneous infection guys like mycetoma sporotrichosis tromoblastomycosis treatment is itraconazole more than amphotericin b now coming on to the systemic mycosis means basically the dimorphic fungi wala thing histoplasma blastomycosis here the treatment is amphotericin b because this causes similar to tb wala thing then cocaido and para cocaido this cocaido wala group uh, likes itraconazole opportunistic guys candida fluconazole fungus crypto cryptococcus guys amphotericin b because we need to go inside the brain meningitis is another thing guys aspergillus variconazole no confusion no no confusion guys mycor mycosis surgical debridement and neuro pneumocystis guys that is co trimoxazole trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole okay so guys this is all that you need to know about your entire rapid revision of bacteriology general my general microbiology and your fungi i have tried to annotate with the first aid some parts of first aid annotation of bacteriology has been missing guys please try to read i'll provide it in the pdf guys if you like it guys please do comment like share and subscribe to the channel i think hope this has help you simplify the microbiology please watch the video carefully and try to solve question i think definitely you will be much better than you than you were before please do comment like share and subscribe